Okay, we are live. Let me fix my um, thing here. There we go. Okay, I had to mute me. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Hey, I see uh, Kathy and Bouge and Cheyenne and Sandra. Yeah, there's uh, Miss Peggy. Hi, guys. How are you guys? Y'all doing good tonight? Starting a little bit later. I had a late doctor. Hey, Ruth Bond, welcome. I had a late doctor's appointment today. And so the last time I went to the doctor, they kept me in in the office like three hours doing talking and all that. But today I was only in there an hour. So I was afraid that if I got home like at five o'clock and then tried to start right away I would be in a, the other night actually we're gonna start with a giveaway okay? and I know this is crazy and you're gonna say what in the crud are you doing Cindy but the other night when I done my flash auction I had told you I was gonna do two giveaways and I got completely offline and realized hey I didn't do my second giveaway so I have a cute, cute little thing I'm going to give away here. We're going to wait until 8 o'clock. Hey, hey, San, uh, Tara, how are you? We're going to wait till straight up 8 and eight, straight up and down 8 o'clock, but we're going to start with a giveaway. So cute. Somebody's going to want it, but I don't want to waste my great big bag on that. I'm looking for a little bitty bag to put it in. After I give it away, there we go. There's a small bag there. Anyway, but but I had you have three other giveaways to go tonight. So anyway, hey Arlene Lynn, how are you? Hey Jude, how are you? Did you announce your winner yet? So guys, if you didn't enter at Jude's contest, she had a contest and she was going to announce her winner at eight o'clock. So um. I don't know if that was 8 o'clock her time or 8 o'clock my time. <laughs> so, anyway. So, are you lagging already? I'm sorry. Yay. So, I'm excited. I hope somebody that doesn't get bags normally won. So, I think that's cool. So, anyway. So, uh, uh, I need these. Where I got messed up. I'm starting with a giveaway tonight because um, I had told you guys on last Thursday night when I was doing the, um, the uh, um, when I told y'all, uh, hold on, I got to readjust my cam camera. I told y'all I was going to give away, there, there we go, um, give away a, uh, have a second giveaway and I forgot yeah 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 make sure you go back to live chat and I have to do that myself because I forget <coughs> yeah. so I'm wearing my Arkansas shirt and no I'm not a huge Razorback fan I just like the shirt my cousin gave it to me so anyway um so cricket awesome. oh yay I'm so proud for cricket I'm so proud for her. So, hey, Kathleen Martin, how are you, hun? So, we're going to start with a giveaway. And we're going to do this Barbie and Ken rules. Only this time, instead of doing uh, number 1 through 100, we're just going to do 1 through 50. And because uh, there's not very many people in here right now, but we're just going to do 1 through 50. And so... Um, Please enter your number only one time, and I'm going to write down the number on one of these little cards. And welcome. So anyway, so yeah, we're going to do. We're starting out with a giveaway because I forgot my giveaway the other night. So going one through fifty. Hey Joe, welcome. One through fifty. Pooh refresh didn't work. I'm sorry. Hey Patty Kane, welcome. So you guys were starting out with, hey Robin, oh I'm so glad you're here. I have I have an owl lot tonight, three owls in one lot. So I'm so glad you're here. Some cool owls too. So 
Anyway, so I'm doing a giveaway. We're starting with a giveaway. A giveaway is how we're starting tonight. So, this is, he's adorable. Okay, can y'all see this? He is so stinking cute. He's an itty bitty kitty with a great big long tail. He's a tack pin, and he's going to be the first giveaway. And I do give away no matter where you live. You bet you're behind. You're going to be here. There's Miss Kimmy. Anyway, so we're going to do a number. One through 50. One through 50. Start. Enter your number. Okay, hold on. Enter your number. Start now. Go. Hey, Pat Hood. And I will ship to whoever wins, wherever they are. Start. So, one through 50. One time. Enter your number only one time, please. One time. <coughs> there we go. We got 22 people here. And guys, Bougie is here. She's just showing her bear tonight. So <laughs> she's just showing the bear. So she's over there. So if you're not subscribed to Bougie Bear Vintage, please go over and subscribe to her channel. Uh, I think when I made my, made my channel the other day, I did uh, put in some link. Uh, I did tag you so they should be able to click on just bust out her name and go to channel and and uh subscribe to her so one through 50 guys one through 50 yeah one through 50 we're doing one through 50 instead of a hundred so hey darling Bluck, <laughs> Bluckland, Bucklin, pat hood welcome uh kimmy welcome lindsay welcome uh said hi to you sandra so guys has everybody got their number in? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Peggy, go ahead. There you go, Peggy. I got you. There you go. So, I am going to tell y'all that I have seen that somebody has entered the number that is the winning number. So, I'm excited because I always get excited when uh, when uh, um, I see the exact number entered. So, But it doesn't take <laughs> much to excite me. So, anyway... Not when it comes to jewelry. It might some other things. Housework, it takes a lot of housework to excite me. <laughs> so, so, oh, listen, my, last week my niece was here. I have a, a niece who's 29, 30. Anyway, 29. She's 29. Uh, anyway, she's here and uh, she offered to clean my house in exchange for jewelry. <laughs> you betcha, sister. So I had her clean my bathroom and mop and sweep my kitchen. So anyway, so I think we have pretty much let everybody get their numbers in. I'm just trying to see. Yeah. Okay. Stop. There you go. Thanks, Boosh. So y'all ready to see the number? Yes. <laughs> there we go. The number is, oops, I need to lock on me, don't I? There we go. The number is 37. Okay. And I am pretty sure I saw that Sandra Conco had picked that number. So, let's see. Yep. So, yeah. Because they were all around it. Uh, Jude was 36. Uh, I think Arlene was 35. And Sandra was 37. They were all around that number. So, 37, I've got Sandra Conco. Is that right? Is that yep. what everybody else sees? Sandra Conco? Okay. Sandra wins. Yay, Sandra. Thank you, guys. So, guys, I have a lot of things tonight that we are going to go do quickly. Um, we're not, I mean, we're going to, you were only 20 off, Robin. Just 20. Yay. So, anyway, and I have uh, three other giveaways to do. So, after every 10, we'll do a giveaway. After every 10 items. So, I have a lot of signed stuff tonight. A lot of signed things. So, we're going to start out with these. Um, oh, and I have 14 karat gold tonight. I have gold. And I have, a, I have silver in the mystery lot. So, anyway. So, we have these white and gold enamel earrings. 
they are signed art, A-R-T. They are vintage. And we're going to start these at $3. We're going to start the bidding at these on at $3. We will have buy it now. We will also have bidding. So we're going to start the bids at $3 on these. Clip on our earrings. And we also have, um, we uh, there's Cricket. Hey, Cricket. So we're all excited for you, Cricket. So anyway. Um, so art earrings, they are clip on. We're starting the bidding at three dollars. They are white enamel. There is no enamel loss that I can see on these. They look in really nice condition. Three dollars, uh, leaves and branches kind of looking things. So, three dollars, guys, that's where we're starting. Three dollars, three dollars anybody so yes okay, on august the first but today's just july the first so i got my sky watch in at three dollars these are cool these these are art 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 so hey blending welcome let's see and i did say hi to cricket and i said hi to robin so we've got Robin in at three. Anybody want to go three fifty? I'll take fifty cent bids. So anyway, so I been I keep watching Barbie's channel to see how her and Cowbell are getting along. So anyway, Barbie got a new dog. I saw the picture so. on Facebook. It's cute. Mhm. Mm a blue tick. So, got Kathy Weezer in at three fifty. I do have several lots tonight, guys, with earrings in them. I have some nice things. I have lots of sign pieces tonight. So, chunky chicken salad for dinner. We had barbecue chicken legs, fried squash, and some instant taters for dinner. And I cooked it all. So, anyway, got three fifty. Anybody wants to go? four dollars on these four dollars so if you've never bought from me all you have to do i think everybody here has bought from me but all you have to do is just send me your information to cnd11 at yahoo.com and um also if um if you buy i need you need to pay within 48 hours unless you contact me about that and uh anyway it's paid you pay me i print the shipping label and at the end right before the mail runs at the end of the day i take it to the post office so try to get it out really quick so anyway there's cc hey connie welcome so going one time at 350 and payment is i prefer payment through paypal okay And sold to Kathy Weezer for three fifty. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate it. So get those back in the baggie and off we go. Next up is Monet. Monet, Monet. Hey Joe, if I didn't say hi to you, I'm sorry. Hey, hon. Welcome. So next is Monet. And this is a vintage Monet necklace. It has um Blue and gold beads has a Monet hang tag. Let's see if I can get it to turn around. Monet hang tag here. And then it has one of these kind of clasps. See, you see how I'm opening that? Mm -hmm. Get it up where they can see it, Cindy Lou Bob. There we go. As one of this, these kind of clasps. See, what are those called? I don't know. I call them like older lobster claws because that's what they still look like a lobster claw to me. <laughs> they look like a pincher to me. So, so this is Monet, guys. Monet. Uh, this is uh, vintage.
notch, I do believe. It is in very nice shape. And we're going to start the bidding on this at $3. $3 is where we're starting. Hey, Selena. How are you, hon? So, start at $3 on Monet. I remember the first time that uh, Babsy was in one of my auctions and she said that she had never get, found a piece of Monet before. And I sent her, as one of her gifts, I sent her a Monet piece. Because, I mean, like, how can you not? I'm like, everybody needs a piece of Monet in their life. <laughs> so she was so thrilled. So, anyway, I got Arlene in at three. Anybody want to go three fifty? We will take fifty cent bids. So yeah, uh, April's here. She's just not playing on screen. So if you're not, like I said, if you're not subscribed to April, you need to subscribe to her. So she has a. Uh, she'll have auction next Monday night, and she has beautiful things. Um, anybody three fifty on the Monet. Got Arlene in at three. So, Arlene, I, I know I said this last time. Makes me think of Rachel Lynn. Makes me think of Anne of Green Gables. Makes me want to read an Anne of Green Gables book. I, I do like the movies, the ones that are on the VHS, the ones that are the older ones. But anyway, uh, I'm not a real visual person. I'd rather read the book any day of the week. Very visual who like movies and yeah. I just didn't read a book. So we got going once. There she goes. She's going two times, guys. We're moving. April is Bougie Bear Vintage. That's her right above you calling the uh, auction doing the auction topping for me and uh, uh, just click beside her name and it'll say go to channel and it'll pop it up in a different different uh, thing it should pop it up in a different thing and you can you can uh, subscribe to her I have it sold to Arlene so Dollars. guys thank and she, you um, Arlene. she subscribed to me just a minute ago it popped up so thank you Arlene oh Okay, so so this next piece is really cool. It is vintage. It is older. I don't know how old it is, but what's cool about it is it has the original tag on it. So um, I think this is really neat. So I'm going to get it turned around so y'all can see it. And I should have brought over my little necklace thing. Of course, it don't want to lay. There we go. It's a necklace. And it says genuine lucite, and it does say made in China, so it's not old, old, but it does say genuine lucite. And we're going to start this little necklace. It's gold tone. It has these little stations with um, things on it. So um, we're going to start this at three dollars. Also, three dollars seems to be the my night, my thing tonight. We're going to start at three dollars. Three dollars. We're going to get to some better stuff tonight besides just. And I'll tell you how long it is. It has an extender on it. It has a three-inch extender. It is 16 and a half inches long. Start at $3. It's really pretty. So when I found it, Pat Hood is in at $3. When I found it, it had the tag on it. I was like, I cannot take that tag off. I mean... It looks like there's wear on the lobster class, but since it has the tag on it, I have to wonder if it's just tarnish and would polish up. And I bet that's what it is. Oh, my silver cloth is not right where it's supposed to be. That's always my luck. Oh, well. Anyway, got Patty in it, three. Anybody want to go 350 on it? The little stations that are around it have like topaz colored rhinestones in them. So, 
Anybody want to go 350? I'm looking for 350 is what I'm looking. How are you feeling, Jennifer? Jennifer, did you get mail from me today, honey? So I'm looking for a $3.50 bid. Pat's in at 3 Yes, that was your, that was the win that um, Autumn Grace had sent to you the, uh, when she won Thursday night. So, anyway, I thought you would get it pretty fast. So, and of course, I included a happy. You know me, I can't see nothing without including a happy in it. So, It's going in the baggie. So, oh, Thelma's in at four. Hi, Thelma. I didn't see you pop in, honey. Welcome. So, I got a run. They think that what we were running into was the medicines that I was on was running my blood pressure too low, which made me feel worse than it running too high. I still have to see a cardiologist because I still have AFib, and they're going to have to figure out what we're going to do about that. But uh, um, it may be something I have to learn to live with and take medicine to prevent throwing blood clots kind of thing. So, anyway, uh, I have felt better today. I had a spell this morning while me and my mom were talking on the phone, actually, and I was working on my jewelry. And so she went with me to the doctor. I drove, but she did go with me. So, anyway, but uh, just the pitter-patter spell. Uh, we got... Thelma in at five, and this does say genuine lucite on it. You see, it does say made in China, but it does say genuine lucite. It's really cute, really, really cute. So the less meds, the better. So, yeah, well, the medicine that she took me off of was a blood pressure medicine, but it was a blood pressure medicine that is not good for your heart. And you would think they don't make, wouldn't make those, but they do. So, so Pat is in at 550. So... Anyway, but yeah, I have not enjoyed being under the weather. Thelma's in at six. I didn't even get, get out of my house Friday. Friday, y'all, Friday was a little scary because Friday my heart rate fell down to 37. And so that was one of the things that we were facing that my heart rate was falling way too low. And uh, my blood pressure fell down to 83 over 83 over 56. So anyway, so, whoo. So uh, when I, the other night, when I went the day that I went in the hospital, my blood pressure was 237 over 100 and 107. So Pat's in at seven. So yeah, when it gets, but she told me if it falls low and I don't feel like I'm getting the flutters and all that, not to worry about it. That I'll be that it's okay. But if uh, it falls low and I feel yucky so that to think about getting to the ER so anyway but I kind of learned my lesson about going to the ER you go to the ER they hold you hostage <laughs> <laughs> for three days <laughs> so, anyway and then your friends all worry about you <laughs> anyway whoa they're going to do an ablation, ab ablation. So, got Pat in at eight. Okay, guys, this is a cute necklace, but y'all are going a lot higher than I'm not sure. I mean, <laughs> I'm turning into Barbie now, so y'all going to have to stop, okay? Y'all going to have to stop. <laughs> so, anyway. I can't wait. I, ha I do have some gold tonight. I have silver in a mystery bag, in my mystery bag. I have some really nice name brands that are coming up, too. So, Pat's out. Thelma's at $9. I'm going to put this in the bag. So, Thelma, I've missed you this summer. I haven't, I've been so busy with uh, being sick that I haven't got to just sit down and watch because 
when I get sitting down, then I get to feeling yucky, and then I want to go lay down. So, anyway, they must know something about that necklace. I don't know what. So, this one here is prettier than that one, and it's going to be. So, are you counting, Booge? Why are you counting to her? Because Pat did say she was out. I'm going to grab one of my uh, one of my necklace things. Oh, I got purses tonight too, guys. I got three little purses we're going to do tonight. So, got my Razorback shirt on. Go Razorback. I sold to Thelma for $9. Thank you, Thelma. I appreciate you, hon. Thanks, Pat, for bidding. I appreciate it very much. So the next item up for sale is a beautiful, beautiful Napier, Napier necklace. It is Lynx. And I absolutely love this necklace. And if I didn't have a necklace like a football player, by Yemenis, it wouldn't be for sale. But when a girl's built like a football player, you sell the pretties. Okay, and it don't want to lay for me because... My necklace thing isn't wide enough there like that okay <laughs> come on do I got it twisted when it's fastened okay okay guys this just doesn't want to play pretty with me tonight so here you go it's links now let's see if we can get it to show the nape here it is signed nape here I can kind of see it there nape here and we're going to start this at $4. $4, guys. It is pretty. I'll tell you how long it is, too. $4. Start at $4. And you can go. It is... Move out of the way. It is 16 and a half inches long. 16 and a half inches long. It is so pretty. 16 and a half. There, that's so pretty. See, now, if you had a tiny, skinny neck and had a pretty deco, whatever they call that, you know, your all that. <laughs> your cleavage? Anyway, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Your, yeah, if you had nice cleavage, <laughs> so... Me, I'm one of those girls you sing. Do your boobs hang low? Do they wobble too? Oh, never mind. That's a ear song. All you need is a push-up bra. That, that creates so anyway. cleavage for anybody. Okay. Yeah, but I can't stand the wires. I just wear a sports <laughs> bra. So anyway. Do you, have y'all seen that commercial that's on Facebook of them sticking those things on oh, your yes. boobs? And I was like, that up. looks painful. What if you take your nipple off? <laughs> Anyway, I'm just like, seriously, <laughs> you know, I mean, if it's that easy, why hasn't people been doing right. this for years, okay? So, anybody, $4. $4. So, and they show you, they stick those things on a, hey, Vanessa, they stick those things on a, what is it? They stick them on a, a like a big water bottle to show you how strong yeah, they are. Yeah, something like that. Or was it a bowling like, ball they tried to pick up with it or something? I don't know. It was crazy. I don't know. So, it's an illusion. So, anyway, $4. Anybody? I, I'm all for, I'm all for burning bras. Mm -hmm. I figure, you know, if you have to tuck them into your waistband, just tuck them into <laughs> your waistband, okay? <laughs> Well, mine would never reach. So, anyway, the, anybody want to go four dollars on this this Napier necklace? Very nice. Four dollars is where we're starting, Kathy Weezer. Four dollars on a bowling ball. I know they were it's weird. They were sticking it's it totally to some weird. heavy stuff. I can't remember Tell if it was a bowling ball for sure, or if that was another commercial I saw. It says Napier and it says patent pending under it. So I thought it showed a patent pending thing under it. 
Chats. Oh, there it is. Back mm -hmm. on the floor. So, you tried. So, anyway, anybody want to go four? Because if you don't, if you're not interested, somebody just Jennifer come pass, and I'll pass on it. So, four dollars. Jennifer huh? said four. Oh, did Jennifer say four? Okay, just there's Jennifer. Yet. There you go. So, anybody, four dollars? Four fifty is where the bid needs to go next. So, four fifty. It's warm in here, guys. We're hitting, uh, we're hitting hundred degree temperatures. Not actual temperatures, uh, real feels, uh, heat indexes. So, anyway, yeah, Vanessa. Everybody says that my lips are moving in the the. Uh, it's weird. I don't know why. You would think that being live, it wouldn't do that. So I'm sorry. I don't know how to fix it. So, just sorry. Just imagine that it's an old Chinese movie selling selling jewelry. <laughs> so, just imagine that that it's an old Chinese movie. Have you you've all seen those? Uh huh. So, all the yeah. So, Chinese movie. So. Am I even showing? Yeah, you're there. Yeah, it's just the lag, and and you know you're you're it's you've got a little bit of lag. It may just be you know how the internet can cut in and out. Okay, let's just call this sold to Jennifer because nobody else bid on that. So. Okay. So Napier necklace, four dollars. Jennifer Layton. I have to write down Layton because sometimes uh, Jennifer Hayes comes in and I get confused. And Lord knows we don't want to confuse Cindy. Oh, these are cool. So these are going to be a buy it now. And we're going to buy it now for $3 on these. And I'm going to show them to you. I'm going to count to 10 and then I'm going to tell you what to type. Okay. These are cool. So I'm, I need to measure them before I hold them up. So they are three inches long and an inch wide a little over an inch wide so they're very cool they have a little bit of metal loss but they're cool enough that it really don't matter so they're really cool like <laughs> three dollars buy it now i'm going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if you want to buy these now for three dollars. Let me know what bird has something in common with Pinocchio. A hummingbird. His nose grows. I don't know. So anyway, uh, if you want to buy these now for three dollars, type in big, B I G big, three dollars, B I G big. Forgive me now. How come I'm beginning to think this might not be a woodpecker? I don't know. Okay. It's <laughs> not. That one, <laughs> that one is funny. <laughs> anybody big? Anybody want to go big on these for three dollars? Okay, Arlene I said Arlene. Number five, earrings. Three dollars, Arlene. Fortunately, there's a well, not fortunately. There is only one Arlene, although I have two friends now named Arlene. So, so I have my mama Arlene. So, guys, y'all remember these? These are the brand new necklaces. They were originally $19.99. They still have their tags on them. Uh, they are, I call this style Charming Charlie. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, it has a, let's see. It does have an extender, but the extender has gotten caught back here, so I'll have to fix the extender, but it does have an extender. So this is going to be a buy now. They are, uh, they were originally $20, brand new. Hey, Hetty, welcome, 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 welcome. These are going to be a buy it now. We're going to sell this buy it now for $4. So that is one-fourth of what the original price was. Hey, Cherry Berry. So, uh, one-fourth of the reg regular price, the original price, 
Buy it now for four dollars. I'm going to count to ten, and then I'll tell you the word to count, the word to type. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you would like to buy this necklace now, brand new with the tags on it for four dollars, I need you to type in red, red, R E D, red, four dollars. Red. It's buffering a little bit. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm a buffering. Buffering, buffering, buffering. I'm on mobile hotspot. So, hey, Cherry. I've missed you. So, anybody? Red. Just type in red and it's yours. They're called, they're from a brand occasionally made. Uh, I think probably originally made in China. Splash Mod. Anybody. So, red. If you want it for $4, red is what you have to type. Otherwise, we're moving along. I have Brighton next. Brighton, Brighton. We got Jennifer. Anybody? Red. Jennifer Layton mm -hmm. said red. There she goes. Okay. Uh, red necklace. Thank you, Jen. And I still haven't hauled your stuff, but my niece got some stuff out of it the other day. So. Okay. Are we mm -hmm. ready for Brighton? Yeah, Brighton. And it's really cool. It's a bracelet. And it's got, they look like silver balls down inside of them with these cages around them. But, but the, I think they're pearlized, pearl colors. Because you've got a little pearl dangle here. You've got the the heart. There's, come on. Got the little heart with the bee on it. You can tell what it is. It's beautiful. And we're going to... We're going to start this. We're going to bid on this, and we're going to start the bidding at $8 on this Brighton bracelet. $8. Be still, Cindy. Got these cute little, this cute little rhinestone station here. It's a very unique one. I've never seen, seen that. I know. I had never seen anything like it neither. So, but there it is. There's the little bee. And then it's got the identifying heart right here. Uh, Jude's so, at the length on there. Yeah, I will tell you. The complete length of it is the last place that you can fasten the hook is nine and a half inches. Nine and a half inches. So it will fit. And then you can make it nine and a half at the biggest. And, and let me tell you, the smallest is, it looks like about eight. Eight at the biggest, nine and a half at the, I mean, eight at the smallest, nine and a half at the biggest. So, okay. Got Kathleen Merton in at $8. I love that how this is. I've never seen a Brighton piece like this. In fact, I when I first pearls in cages. Gotcha. I thought your nurse would might be a little different there. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, okay, Kathy, you may be sharing too much. There. It's like a nurse. It's like one of those nurses in a horror film or something. She got people uh, in cages. So the first time I went through the basket, I just went by right by this and I was like, okay. And let me just. Yeah, I would have too. Probably. I wouldn't have thought that's Brighton. Yep, and then I happened to look closer. Well, I actually happened to see the the bee hanging down, and I was like, "What is in there that's rotten?" So, <laughs> anyway, well, listen. Okay. Jared, <laughs> I need help. <laughs> I've got this bracelet on, and I can't get it off. 
I've got a bracelet on and I can't get it off. <laughs> I, I fastened it. No, never mind. I got it. I fastened it too tight. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I, I don't wear bracelets. I have to fasten very much. <laughs> so, and my hands are not just as dexterous. And I'm looking. There are no missing rhinestones in this. So, none. Very pretty. Very, very pretty piece. So, we're at... Nine dollars? Why are you crying? Because she's imagining the the nurse collecting people in cages. That sounds <laughs> yeah. like something like Doctor Frankenstein, don't it? So <laughs> anyway, well, so Kathleen's in at nine. Is Francis not here? I can't believe Francis has not been on Brighton. She's here, yeah. I thought she was here, but I, I don't see her. I don't know if so. she may be swapped over somewhere. So, okay, guys, we're getting, we're getting close to the first point where we'll do another giveaway. So eight, okay, there we go. Oh, that was horrific. <laughs> okay. Just remember that when you get bags from me. Oh, she said okay. she can't see it clearly. Let's see if I can get it a little bit better. Okay, there we go. They're pearls with metal wrapped around them, making mm. it almost like a pearl in a cage. There you go. That one's real pretty. You can see that. And it's just a repeat all the way around it. There we go. It finally focused in. I'll give her a second in case she is interested for a call it. We got Robin in at 10, then Francis said 10. <laughs> oh, I sh I got it up to the screen, and everybody wanted to be Kathleen Burton saying, oh, drats. Kathleen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> so. Francis is in at 11. I've only kept one piece of Brighton for myself, and that's that farm bracelet that's got all the Georgia charms on it. That's the only thing Brighton I have. Yeah. So, I've always sold all mine. This is a very unique Brighton piece. I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even look it up, guys. <laughs> that. I'm getting lazy in my old age. So I have not this month, not July month, but August month is my birthday month. So but August, we're going to have some big, big. Oh, Robin, your phone's ringing. <laughs> uh, we're going to have some big fun in August. Big fun. Big fun in Baltimore. <laughs> so maybe must be your sister calling. <laughs> you got some special uh, videos for us on the uh, August. So now we're just gonna do some special kind of sales and some special kind of things. So mm -hmm. anyway. So I'm thinking for the month of August that every sale that I have I'll do I'll I will do free shipping like Barbie and Ken do. For the United States, I will do, if you live outside of the United States, uh, like in Canada, I will do reduced shipping for you. So, I will do, I will ship at half price. So, I'll do free shipping for the United States. This is in August, okay, guys, in August. So, that'll be something to look mm -hmm. forward to for the whole month. So... So, anyway, I am doing, guys, I am doing uh, a love and jewelry tomorrow. We're going to talk about vintage. We're going to talk about how to identify things that are vintage. So, we're going to talk some about closures. We're going to talk some about metals. We're going to talk some about um, um, settings and stuff like that. So, pop a balloon to see what they win. That would be fun, popping a balloon to see what they would win. So... Mm -hmm. Oh, anyway, so fifteen dollars that to Francis. <laughs> I 
Dwayne. Me and you both, Dwayne, so I'm more vintage than you are, honey bunch. Well, I'm going to be 54 when I turn, have my birthday in August. So, yeah. <laughs> it's magic! It's magic! <laughs> Abracadabra. <laughs> I'm just a talking head, dude. I'm just a talking head. So. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start calling it. That's fine. It's the Miles. Oh. Well, anyway, I'm not going to say what I was going to say because it's not very nice. So, my husband, it's the same my husband taught me, but until I thought about what it, says I didn't realize it wasn't nice <laughs> so, y'all I was so naive when we got married I mean like just pulled me off the turnip track naive. <laughs> sold to Francis for $15 so, thank you Brighton bracelet thank you Francis okay so the next piece is a set And I didn't realize it was a set. And I don't really remember where it came from, to tell you the truth. It is not signed, but it is really neat. So, okay, hold on. There it is. It is vintage. Let me get it all turned. Because I like for things to be how they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I'm a little... I have some OCD tendencies myself, boo. So, I know that y'all have find that hard to believe. So, if you could see my office, you'd think, there ain't nothing OCD about you, you slob. Well, I've learned that's not the way it works. Some people are really obsessive about everything. My OCD is just... just Usually, it's the weirdest things that bother me. It's not necessarily okay. common. <laughs> Did y'all see that? That was so thinking funny. Oh my gosh, that makes me laugh. I was, okay, I am easily amused, guys. I'm sorry, I just am. So anyway, I had it all turned just right, and it flipped. Flip. <laughs> I mean, it just flipped like it went crazy flipping. It went flipping crazy. There we go. Okay. So, here we go. We've got this cute little enamel necklace. And it has earrings that go with it, I believe. So, anyway, they're in the bag with it. So, I'm taking my word that they go with it. So, they are that. And this is, we're going to start this at $3, guys. This is an earring and necklace set. It is vintage. We're going to start it at $3. It is not signed. It is gold tone enamel. Gold tone start at $3. It's cute. Very cute. <laughs> and I suppose somebody wants me to tell you how long the necklace is. So I will do that. I shall do that just for you. Maybe. Oh, the dogs are howling next door. Or, or, or somebody needs to go pet Bubba. He hadn't had no attention of it today. It's 18 inches long. 18 inches long. I like that. That's cool. Just so we know it's you. Jewelry is of the devil. We know. We know, Dwayne. Oh. So those foosball. Just ask Adam Sandler's mama. She says foosball's of the devil. I don't like movies, but I have watched that one a few times. And I can nearly quote line for line McClintock to you, so. Well, anybody, $3. Okay, I'll tell you what. $3. Oh, no. Okay. Whoever the hater is that came in earlier, if you were just hating on me because I started later, okay, I take it. But not to, to come in and give me a thumbs down before I even started. 
that just softens. I'm sorry, it softens. It hoovers, it. <laughs> it took me a second to figure out what you were talking about. Softens. Softens. Sucks. I'll say it. It sucks. Hoovers, all that. Okay, three dollars. Anybody want to do a bite now? I'll do a bite now. If you'll type in the word black, I'll do it a bite now. Black for three dollars. Black. Go once. Black. Actually, it. I. I really. <laughs> I said it softens, but it, it's not worth the energy to get worked up over. So. Somebody anyway. just. Somebody just changed their thumbs down. <laughs> Dyson Hoovers and Kirby's. So, anyway, so we have traveled extensively in in New York. I mean, in the North, not just New York, but in the North. And so, a lot. I learned a lot of terms up there on ways to say things like, um, if if you're rigging something where you're making it work, what how it's not supposed to work, they call it being Hoosiered, like Indiana, it's Hoosiered. <laughs> so, and then uh, somebody taught me that if you wanted to say it sucked, to say it Hoovers, or to I say it Falcons. Is so, that apparently a bad thing to say? <laughs> so, well, when I was a kid, if I said you said it sucked, your my mama would pop me. <laughs> so, oh yeah, yeah, I get. I mean, yeah, but as an adult, yeah. you're like, that's not I, a. I'm a southern kid. Okay, are we passing on this one? Number eight, we're passing. So. Nobody's nobody's showing no love for number eight. So we'll just go on. Okay. Y'all got to show love for number nine, though. Because <laughs> this is a special piece. Number nine. What you want to start this at? I'm going to start it, and then I'm going to walk over there and fix me a cup of coffee, and I'll be right back. Okay. We say wicked a lot in Massachusetts. Wicked? What are you doing? We're going to start this at $10, guys. We're going to start this at $10. I'm going to go grab a cup of coffee. <laughs> and this is the Lee Sands style. It is not Mark Lee Sands, but I believe if it's not by him, it's by somebody who is a, a copycat. <laughs> so, so we have rose quartz. These are rose quartz, and they are real. Um, I'm not sure what the black is. It might be onyx, but I'm not positive. And we have really light, what looks like to be amethyst. Like, that's wicked cool. <laughs> so, yeah. And then we have the inlay. And we're going to start this at $10. We got Earlene in at 10 And I'll tell you how long. And it's got a hook and eye fastener. And it is 22 inches long. 22 inches long. So, it's long enough around my neck. Anybody want to go 10, 50, or 11? This is a beautiful piece. Do y'all remember I had another one and I sold it earlier? I've had this a, a while. Hey, Cricket. It is pretty cool, ain't it? Cricket's all excited. She's got jewelry. She, got, she won jewelry. There you go. So let's see if I can get my camera to look at it prettier. There. Oops. So the camera just wants to show this silly Razorback shirt. So that is a beautiful. I think this is a peach, but I'm not positive. It is gorgeous. So, but I'm not positive what it is. It may be a closed flower, but it looks like a peach. So. Yeah, that's what anyway. I thought. I'm looking for a 1050. I got Kathleen Martin in at 1050. This is, um, looks like Mother of Pearl and maybe Abalone also inlay. Arlene's in at 11. Yeah, on those pieces, that's usually what what he uses. So, Mother of Pearl. <laughs> I did test the clasp. The clasp is not silver. Okay, guys. Um, there's no real wear on it. I noticed one of the beads had a little place on it. But it's nothing major. So, anyway. But uh, nothing that definitely detracts from the necklace. So, anyway. But not one of the silver beads, I should say. So, well. 
pretty. Very pretty. I remember when I hauled these, but I don't remember where I hauled them from. So, but I remember doing them in a haul. So, maybe it was one of those big boxes that you got. I don't know. You know what? Actually, I did get these from Darlene. Did, did you? Darlene? Are you here, Darlene? I thought I saw Darlene earlier. She I was. Think I, I think, think she said she was making chicken salad or something. Yeah, I think I get these from Darlene now that you say that. Actually makes me think I got these from Darlene. So uh, I got a, I got a box ordered not from Darlene. I got a box ordered from somebody else I've bought from before I've got to pay for. Well, y'all just feed my habit, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> like a little addict. Come on, I got to sell some more so I can buy some more. The other day was the first time I'd been thrifting in forever. In I got ever? what three, four pieces of jewelry and came back with more other things than jewelry. <laughs> Jewelry's just not happening around here lately. So my bruises are going away. See, I'm looking. Yeah, my arms looking real good. This I still got this one here. It's still a little multicolored. So these here are going away good too. So. But I will never, I would never show y'all the ones on my stomach because that would involve showing my stomach, and I don't even like to show my stomach covered. <laughs> but, but the ones on my stomach are not going away. <laughs> so, but like That's sold to Erling for twelve dollars. Okay. Twelve uh, dollars, uh, Erling. Mm -hmm. Almost said Darlene. Thank you, Erling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got these from Mary Sebastian. Hey, Simply Roberta. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before and I didn't, don't remember you, I'm sorry. Kind of been like, life has been crazy lately. But I think I've seen you here before. So we've got some RSVP. Very blingy, very long earrings. They are pierced. We're going to do a buy it now, guys, on these. Buy it now, okay? And I'm going to count, and then I'm going to tell you what to type, okay? Oh, we're going to buy it now for, uh, I think we're going to buy it now for $3 on these. $3. So, RSVP earrings, RSVP, $3. Buy it now. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you would like to buy these earrings now for three dollars, I need the word dangle. Dangle. Oh, you're Roberta. Okay, I know who you are now, Roberta Sandage. So I need the word dangle. Type in the word dangle and they're yours for three dollars. Dangle, dangle. She wears spurs that jingle, jangle. And earrings that dingle dangle. <laughs> <laughs> dangle. Anybody? Anybody want some dingle dangle earrings? Just type in the word dangle. And this, guys, brings us to number 10. And we're fixing to do a giveaway. A giveaway. A giveaway. So, dingle dangle. Anybody? Has anybody typed in dangle? Not seeing anything. Okay, we're going to get ready. I'm going to get get my number picked. And I can't tell. Let's see. Looks like we got, got Mary. 30 people here today. Mary Pelletier. Mary, Mary Pelletier wants to dangle. Okay, Mary Pelletier. Welcome, honey. I didn't know you were here. Welcome, 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 Mary. I've got some earring lots, too. Some nice earring lots. So we've got Mary Pelletier in. $3. We're going to do a giveaway. This is Barbie style, Barbie and Ken style. And we'll always give Barbie and Ken. We're going to pick a number one through 100 this time. We're going one through 100 this time. So one dash. Oops, that don't work. <laughs> one dash. 100. Number. 
Mm. I got you. Oh, you got me? Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm your hands. <laughs> You're my okay, I'm going to... Okay, I've got my number picked, and they can start. Oh, y'all want to know what I'm giving away, don't you? We're giving away a really pretty necklace, and everybody is eligible to enter. Everybody is eligible to enter. So we've got this here. It's pretty it's orange. Here. Yeah, it is a real pretty orange. And Ron, stony, blingy. Okay, we got repeaters. If you repeated, just, you know. Yeah, uh, if, if somebody has your number before, you can go back in and do like I did a while ago. I deleted my previous comment and picked another number. Yeah, we'll let them do that. So, Hey, Kim Webster. I didn't see you earlier. Welcome. That be orange. It definitely be orange. It definitely be orange. So, yeah, Barbie and Ken don't let you correct it, but I don't mind. So, I'm fine. I'm easy going tonight. I'm easy going. Easy loving. Oh, there we go. There. Oh, you missed stuff. The phone rang. I am so sorry. It all sold. <laughs> I just made a mess. Okay, y'all keep telling me y'all want me to put my hair in little piggy tails. So, hey Barbie, are you here, Barbie? I don't see Barbie. I thought Barbie was here. There's Darlene. There's Barbie. Hi, Barbie. So, no, I'm just going easy tonight because um, I don't have the energy to not. <laughs> so, anyway, there we go. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So, are you ready to stop? this move have everybody has everybody picked their numbers okay you need to do that you need to stop that mess over there who did I lose you April did I lose you April oh sorry oh you're fine I, I just thought I, I thought I froze up because I was spinning no and as I thought the dogs was barking and I was worried somebody was at the front door <laughs> Oh, I was spinning, spinning, spinning. So Are we ready to report. check the numbers or have you already called Yeah, I think it? we're ready to check the numbers. So, Not spinning on my end. Okay. Have we stopped? I put stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... I know that we have a winner because it was a repeat number. 65. So the first person to get 65 was Mary. Mary Pelletier. Mm -hmm. say. And that's why I noticed that we had double because uh, Pat Hood entered it too. And I was like, oh, look, Pat. And then and I saw Mary had two. So, <laughs> there we go. You won the necklace. Thank you, Mary. I gotcha. So, y'all know what? Before we move back to jewelry, and I'm still spinning, guys, on my end. So, hold on just a second. There we go. You're looking okay from this <laughs> end. Okay. I can't see any chat. Right. No I'll let you know if anybody says anything of major importance. There. It, <laughs> oh, it just loaded and I hit the refresh. Dad burn. So, we're going to do a purse. There we go. <clears throat> we're going to do this little beaded purse. It has no name in it no name in it, it I saw is, that on Poshmark yeah I've given away either sold one or given away one like this 
seven inches high by about six inches wide with a drop from the bottom to the end of about 17 inches. So, Miss Frances. Very boho and vegan. So, anyway, so we're going to start the bidding on this purse. We're going to start it at... Um, we're going to start at $5 on this purse. This little zipper works fine. This is very summery looking. It'd be fun to go wear going out. So you just put your phone and your keys and your uh, ID and stuff in it. So we're going to start at $5. This will fit in a flat rate box. Um, I mean, in a flat rate mailer, but it also will fit in a small box. So if you don't wear very much, if you don't buy a whole lot, it probably can ship for not very much at all because it don't weigh a whole lot. So, but go ahead and grab up a purse and then stuff it full of jewelry. <laughs> yeah, buy a purse and stuff it full of jewelry. Yeah, I love how she thinks. So. <laughs> it That's what I do. Months. I don't. I don't buy one item. I buy a bunch of stuff so that I can save on. No, shipping. I've got. I've got something here for you that you bought and paid for. So, okay, anybody, five dollars. Cute, 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 cute. The inside of it, it's not, I mean, it's lined, so things are not going to fall out of it. It's got a, uh, um, like a tan colored lining in it. So, I mean, yeah, you can tell that it's lined. So, there's no, and these are wooden beads. Mm -hmm. So, anybody, $5, start at $5, guys. It's cute. I've got there some purses or I've got wooden beads. Wooden beads or uh Mary, wooden wooden beads. Very like sixties, so, seventies looking to me. Yeah, it I, I figure it's older. Mm hmm The other one that I the other one that I sold was a vintage name brand that was just like it. But the, I've looked and looked and this one doesn't have uh no I don't think mine did either. I'm trying sell. to go back on my Poshmark and see it because I believe I sold it on Poshmark. I might have sold it on Etsy though. Yeah, so anybody, five dollars. If not, tap top pass to me and we'll pass and go back to jewelry. I've got two other purses to show y'all too today. So anybody. You don't think your hand would fit? I have a big old hand, Mary. I have a large hand, and my hand goes in and out. My phone goes in and out. My keys, yep. So, now, your day hand. What about your night hand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> One of my friends today posted a picture of a car. It was an antique car. And she's like, I wanted to post a picture of the man that got out of it because he is dressed all retro and stuff. She said, but I was afraid he'd get offended. She said, but what do y'all think this is? And I wanted to post so bad. It looks like a car to me. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> but I thought, I don't know how she'd take it because she's real serious. So, anyway. So, it did. It looked just like a car. So yeah, mine yeah, didn't okay. have a mine didn't have a name inside of it, but uh, I sold it for twenty five dollars on Etsy. Woohoo! Twenty five dollars. Anybody? Anybody want to buy it for five and sell it for twenty five? I know I'm not guaranteeing that you can do that. Okay, we're gonna pass on this. So pass on the purse. All right. Pass on the purse. That was a pass on wooden purse. Okay. If I get something else tonight, I might just go ahead and get that from me and I'll put it in okay. the store. Okay. So these are funky cool and they are not signed and they are vintage. Wow. They are. They almost look to me like, you know what? I say they're not signed and then I look and it looks like that might be a, something in there. Nope, it's just texture. Okay. Anyway, so they are clip. They are brushed. And they look like apostrophes. <laughs> Do they not? 
<laughs> those are the ones you got from me, and I thought they looked like fortune cookies. They look like apostrophes to me. So yeah. Anyway, oh, Kathy Weezer wants the purse for five. Okay, you can have it for five, Kathy. So I got gotcha. you. Okay, so these are going to be buy it now. We're going to do two dollars on them. Buy it now. If you want this, uh, I promise I am not going to make you spell apostrophe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh, Nina Bougie, don't be mean. Don't be mean. That's not nice. I so. think I spell apostrophe. <laughs> It's funny. Sometimes I can spell more complicated words better than I can spell simple words. Okay, I'm going to count to 10 so everybody has a chance to get in on it, and then I'll tell you what to type. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if you want to buy these for those dollars, those dollars, type in... Fortune cookie, fortune, top in fortune, fortune or cookie, fortune or cookie, either word will work, fortune or cookie. Dose, do dose dollars, dose dollars, fortune. Coming up with another sign piece. <laughs> whatever they feel like at the moment. Anybody? If nobody wants them, I'm moving them out of the way. No fortune cookie dangles. <laughs> nobody wants no fortune cookies. What the crap have I done here? <coughs> oh, oh, it is. Okay. Okay. So I'm passing on number 11. Okay. I just remembered I was supposed to do my giveaway before to before Sunday, and I didn't do it. So I've got to get around to that. Okay. this Guys, this is another piece of jewelry that is signed. It is a loft piece. It is very long. Here is your little circle that says, well, so here is your little, oh, hold on, I got it turned to the wrong side. Here's the little circle that says loft, and it has a little chip. There you can see it, loft, and it is really, really long. It is 34 inches long. It's gold tone, and it has this little, these little tubes with mint green on the end of them. Okay. This is loft. We're going to start bidding on this at $4. $4, guys. Very nice. Very cute. Very, very summery looking. Mint green in the gold. Start at $4. True hoo-ha necklace. Yeah. Almost. It's at least a, it's at least a hoodie necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Just hangs down to the hoodies. It don't go to the hoo ha. <laughs> so. And that is my friends a Jeff Foxworthy word. Is it? I've never heard him say that. Jeff Foxworthy does a bit where he asks his kids that if their mama died, would they be mad if he married a, a girl who had nice hoodies? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy is not, he is definitely not politically correct, but. No. Anyway. Got, can't be politically correct and be a redneck, so. <laughs> anyway. Which is funny so. that he did that, that TV show for kids that, uh, what was, it was like a uh, game. Uh, the artist things, or smarter what? than a fifth grader, I think it's what. Yeah. So anybody, $4, anybody going to get this little. Uh, loft necklace for four dollars, guys. Not this. 
has no tags, but I can guarantee you this has never been worn because I bought this new at the store, uh, at my buyout store. It was one of my things that came in one of my buyout lots. And, uh, uh, and I bought it from the store when Dave was sick and I've had it in my, in my jewelry drawer for a long time. So anyway, it was one of those things. I took it to my flea market booth and nobody wanted it there. So anyway, but it is loft. I didn't identify it as loft over there. I forgot. So anybody, $4 loft $4. necklace. 34 inches long, new, they're heating up blueberry bread. I smell mm. it. That sounds yummy. I made bake blueberry me, Bake blueberry. me some of that and send it to me. <laughs> blueberry bread. So anybody, I'm going to pass. If nobody wants it, $4. Starting at $4. Okay. I'm passing on it. Nobody's showing any interest. We got Barbie at so, four. Oh, Barbie wants it at four? Then let's sell it to Barbie Crafts for four dollars. Sold to Barbie for four dollars. Thanks, Barbie. So this next one is a charm bracelet and it's gonna be a buy it now. For three dollars, and I don't know what it is, <laughs> what kind of charms they are. I mean, I know what they are, but I don't know what it is. What it is. So you've got a horseshoe, you've got die, you've got a sand dollar, and you got a seashell. And we're gonna do a bite now for a. Did I say three? We're gonna do a bite now for two. Two dollars. Two dollars. Charm bracelet. Bite now. And we are going to count. And then I'm going to tell you the word. $2. Uh, yeah, you're freezing and I'm sweating like a politician on election day. So, one, two, three, four, five. Barbie, you got to wait till I say six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> if you want to buy this now, top in the word Dior. Dior. Cherry gave me the idea. Dior. <laughs> Dior. Mary got it. Mary. Okay. Thank you. Now, I'm not saying that this is Dior. I'm just saying I don't know what it is, but I do know that it is. Yeah, Mary got it. Let's see. Did Mary get it? Let me just make sure I'm on live chat and not top chat. Yeah, Mary it is wants to send it to Barbie. Oh, Mary wants to send it to Barbie? I gotcha. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Barbie worked hard, and then I told her the wrong word. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's a knockoff. It's, it is uh, magnetic. Is my friend Robin still in the house? Because it's time for an owl lot. Owl lot. Too late, Barbie. She done said to send it to you. I done wrote your name on it. <laughs> Don't argue. Just take your gift and accept it and be nice. She thinks you're sweet. So, I'm uh, showing you owl lot. We've got three owls in this lot. Now, this owl right here, he needs some cleaning up, but I don't think that it would be hard to do. In fact, I might can get it done here myself before I send it to you. But somebody fixed his eye, and it wasn't me because I noticed it when I got it. He's got a little bit of eye problem, but he's got, got really eye. pretty eyes. I think if you take a pen, take a pen and pick out, there's a little yellow glue around one of his eyes. So we've got this little blue-eyed owl, and he is cute. We're going to start this lot 
at we're going to start we've got three necklaces we're going to start at five dollars because these are nice necklaces nice owls so there we go we're going to start at five three necklaces so there's a owl number a one <laughs> Uh, the deal. Yeah, one of them I think is signed too. I think he has a signature on him. So, and then we've got this little green owl. Got this little green owl. Look at him. Isn't he sweet? So, and then we got this one, and I'm pretty sure this one here has a signature on it. Oh, it does, but it's not a it's not a good signature. Uh -huh. It just says Claire's, okay? Claire. So, but look at him. He's still pretty. He's I don't funny. care if he did come from Claire's. Look at that. He's got those market side eyes and all that bling on his belly. He's cute. So, we've got Barbie in at five. We've got my sky watching at six. So, we've got three little owls sitting in a tree. K I S S. Who is that in our community that makes those uh, purse that? charms? I remember Kathleen doing a video about somebody that made um, her one. Susan Gill makes purse okay, maybe, charms. Somebody else makes them. Those would be cute for that, too. So the green one is adorable. I actually like the blue one with his little blue eyes real good, too. So... And this green one is vintage, guys. It's vintage. So, and I think the green, I think the blue one is too. With the, I want to show you something about the blue, blue eyed one. So we got Cheyenne in at seven. Cheyenne. His eyes, the other one, the eyes dangle inside, don't they? No. I had one that did that. I found a lot no. of owls. They're set inside there. But look at his belly. They're hearts. Oh, cute. His feathers are hearts. Aren't they cute? So what I'm thinking that originally whatever eyes was in there may have been lost and somebody replaced mm -hmm. them. So is what I'm thinking. So. So anyhow, just just my thoughts. Anamora just joined out, us. So. Hi, Anamora. Welcome, honey. So, I love owls. And y'all know that I do have a lot of owl jewelry in my personal jewelry, but you know, there just comes a point where you can't have, you can't have too much of one thing. So, <laughs> anyway, it does. I'm sorry. I got to see that owl and real close up the other day. That was really cool. That's the yeah, first time that I've ever seen one so. that close. Yeah. And you wallered your big self out. Are you laying in the bed watching me on the TV? Robin's in at 10. She was saying she was in an inflatable pool outside that her daughter bought her. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and she's freezing. She, was, and so she, she called it her... <laughs> She called it or something, waiting pool or something like that. <laughs> waiting pool. Okay. Hey, um, before we moved here two years ago, but well, before the summer before Dave got sick, we bought one of those um, big blow up rectangular pools and we put it down in our sunroom. And then we had one of those mats that you put in your uh, in a bathtub that makes it bubble. And we would put that mat in that pool and get in it and make ourselves our redneck hot tub. <laughs> that sounds cool. <laughs> but hey, listen, one of those mats in one of those mats like that in those pools, they bubble big time. They make big bubbles. It's I've never nice. seen those mats. So, but now. Oh, they they um oh just the the name of the company Homiletics makes them, and they're like um they're like um uh hard plastic and it's got like holes oh. all in it and the bubbles come out of the holes, so yeah, it's cool. So I really would like a hot tub, but now uh. 
I can't have one because it's not good for people who have pacemaker defibrillator combos to get in a hot tub. So it's not good for them to do. We a bought lot this of house and so. had the hot tub on the deck next to the pool. Then when we uh, then when we yeah. got to looking at it, it didn't have any motor inside of it. <laughs> oh, no. So we ended up just taking that apart and taking it off the deck altogether. But I was really wanting a hot tub. Okay, guys, I have a really cool pair of vintage Lucite earrings, and I'm going to do these on Buy It Now, but we're going to do these on Buy It Now for $7. $7 Buy It Now. They are vintage. They are screw back, and they are cute. They are so cute. When I show you them, you're going to agree because you've seen these before. So they are clear with this little flower painted inside on something think it's painted i don't think i think it's painted on whatever this white thing is and they are screw back we're going to do a buy it now for seven dollars buy it now for seven dollars they're vintage been on before there we go it looks like an iris painted inside of it right it's seven dollars buy it now we're going to count i'm going to count and then i'm going to say the word okay guys one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the word is iris. If you want these for seven dollars, the word is iris. Hey, Autumn Grace, welcome, hon. They do look like cherry, don't they? I've got cherry berry in it at uh, Iris. So $7 cherry berry. Thank you. Thanks, cherry. I got you, hon. So, boop, boop, cherry. Okay, that was number 15. Here comes number 16, guys. Yep, you got them. We've got a what looks like to be polished coral chip necklace and it's one two three four five strands and they are chips and they're on those wires from Hades <laughs> but the chips are really pretty and we're going to start the bidding on this and they are real it does look like real coral it feels like real coral it has the porous places. It looks like every piece of coral I've ever found. I don't have a gem tester, but I find lots of jewelry. So um, I'm going to say we're going to start bidding on this at $5. Start the bidding at $5, guys. $5 is what we're going to do. You can't put the coral on the gem tester, but the only thing about coral... It's kind of like with the um, kind of like the way you assess turquoise. Coral yeah. is usually with the red coral, especially it's usually dyed, and it's worth more, more valuable if it's not dyed. So you kind of have to look inside the, you know, the bead like you do with the turquoise and stuff. Okay, no, I said Hades, as in I don't like wire jewelry, and so I'm always. I'm always down in it, so I'm sorry. That's, <laughs> that's just one of my things. It's 16 and a half inches long with a three inch extender, so up to 19 and a half inches long. So it is very pretty, and it would look really cute on uh, the fourth with a with a navy top or even a white t-shirt, just a solid white t-shirt, and then have uh, have navy shorts on. I know you've been lurking. There you go. Kathleen's in at six fifty. So not Haiti the country. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, I didn't mean to confuse. Did I get my oh, you're talking to her. So mm. borderline hoardish says seven dollars. Are you eating something yummy? Um, I think they're yummy. You said you don't like pretzels. It's those pretzel crisps. No, I do not like pretzels. These are super thin and crispy and crunchy. Oh, 
I, I like I do like soft pretzels with cheese sauce though. <laughs> I mean like who doesn't like soft pretzels with cheese sauce? Right. <laughs> Kathleen's at seven fifty. These are really pretty. No kind of sig signature, just. I know we like for you to shout us out. Borderlines in at eight. You just like to shout us out. Yeah, there, Hades. That's you got it, Terry. You got it. So. Kimmy's in at eight. Kathleen's in at eight fifty. Sandra's in at nine. Hi, huh, Sandra. I thought I lost you. What's this number sixteen? We love you too, Kimmy. We love all of y'all. Y'all are our friends. Our friends. Y'all know I've told y'all my story about talking to the people in the box. My, my, I think I truly believe that my mother-in-law thought that all the people that I talked about that I talked to online, I think she thought they were not real. <laughs> Then that makes me wonder what she thought about my sanity. <laughs> but anyway, but then when my son died, and when my son died, y'all, um, it was amazing how people just reached out. Money and gifts were sent from all over the world, and they reached out, and she's like, "They're really real." <laughs> uh, anyway, it was like, "Did you not think my friends were real before?" Uh, and that's before I was ever part of the jewelry community. That uh, was part before I was ever part of that. Anyway, uh, that was um, the, most of those were my pastor's wife friends because at that time when John died, we were pastoring. And so I had a real good close and I still keep in touch with them. Close community of pastor's wife friends. So. Have I, did I no, wear I think she's talking about, I was no, telling I Kimmy that it. those earrings that Dwayne bought her, I had worn them a couple of times before I sold them. Those were a pair I actually took out of my oh, okay. personal collection. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, I've never worn, if I, when I sell stuff out of my personal jewelry, I tell y'all it come out of my personal jewelry. So this stuff here is, um. This, these here are the things I'm about to sell. So we've got Sandra Conco in at nine. I thought I saw. Yeah, I think she's the last one to bid. So if nobody else is bidding, we'll start calling it. Okay. So. Okay. Anybody else? Because we're fixing to call this one. That's 16. Hey, Dave, I hear you coming. <laughs> Can you pour me some more tea in my glass? Sold to Sandra for nine dollars. Thank you, Sandra Conco. I appreciate you. Yeah, I've been pulling more and more out of my personal, you know, because I'm trying to save up Damn. for my little space. <laughs> okay. Bless. Bless you, Dave. Dave's sneezing. Dave, Dave is being lazy today. We won't bring Dave on screen because he's truly looking redneck today. He uh, is still wearing his jammies. <laughs> so he didn't get dressed today. He did not go out of the house. So uh, we've got this twisted bead necklace. And um, thank you. Until I brought it out in the light and held it up in the light. I think these are garnet beads, guys. They look black, but when you hold them up in the light, they've got a purple red tint to them. It could be them. Anyway, and then you've got this little, almost looks like a little amber stone in it, and faux pearls, and then this is a natural stone. I know. Dave says he can't come show y'all because y'all can't handle his sexiness. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, 
living with somebody with a brain injury is very interesting. <laughs> so, although he was kind of that way before, so I'm gonna anyway, say that is so, so, how uh, wrong would say even if you know he'd say that too. Yeah. So anyhow, so this has what I think might be garnet beads. Uh, there looks like onyx chips in it. It looks like maybe amber chips. And this one here looks like, what does that look like to you? It looks like some kind of a quartz. And then see. it's got faux pearls in it. Mm -hmm. And they are faux. I rubbed them on my teeth. And that almost looks like lapis. But I don't, I don't think so. Anyway, so it, I'm, I'm calling it naturals. They are, it is heavy. And we're going to start this. We're going to start the bidding on this at $5, guys. $5. I'm going to bid five. You're going to bid five? You want to get it just to put it on the gym tester, don't I'm going to put it on the tester. <laughs> so, Bougie's <laughs> in at five. Anybody want to go five fifty? I've been watching those, uh, those like um what do they call them rock hounding videos and stuff on youtube okay I'm, i've been so pumped up about that and then i found out that there's a rock um there's a a place where you can dig for um stones down in lagrange in my hometown so i'm gonna do that with the kids when they come over you can come to arkansas and dig for diamonds yeah whenever i can get to arkansas <laughs> But they said it's for 16 and under is free, so I won't have to pay for Jay or Haley. I just have to pay $25 for myself. And they can you can find anything from amethyst, smoky quartz. Cool. And, uh, and even if, um, what did they say? Um, tourmaline and uh, aquamarine is found there, too. Wow. Uh. Me and Darlene's been talking about going and digging for rocks. Mm hmm There are places in Arkansas where you can find turquoise, but they're pretty closed mouth about where it is. So but there is turquoise in Arkansas. So um, I saw a funny one of my friends posted a, a funny thing. She says Arkansas, the only state where people will look for arrowheads, but not a job. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, we, yeah, there we go. So, you were telling me there you're not even allowed to pick up arrowheads. Didn't you tell me that? Uh, if you, like, if they drain a lake, actually, it mm -hmm. is against the law to pick up arrowheads. It is against the law, but people still do it. And there is a place in that's real close to in the same town where you dig for diamonds. There's actually a field where you can go dig for uh, go look for arrowheads. They plow it up, and you can go look. But uh, like if if they drain a lake, core engineer drains a lake or anything like that, they put cameras on it. And if you get caught in there taking arrowheads out, it's huge. Wow, fun. here it's fun. Huge and fun. I was reading on uh, the website for Georgia, they say it's okay to take, even in national parks, it's okay to take stuff as long as you don't take more than 10 pounds and you don't use any kind of machinery to recover it. If if you can see it sticking out of the right. ground or it's laying on the ground, you're welcome to take it. You can't take more than 10 pounds. The National Forest has a thing on their website because I was looking at it when I, because one of the National Forests, the Washita is one of the places where some tur turquoise has been found in Arkansas. And they say you can carry it out, but you can't carry out more than you can carry out. And they really suggest not to take out more than three pounds. So, mm -hmm. anyway. but can you imagine three pounds of turquoise? <laughs> I know, right? That's enough. <laughs> oh, but, you know, turquoise always has a host stone. So you would have to really know what you were looking for because turquoise in the wild doesn't look like turquoise that we get in our rings. I can tell you that right now. So I right. watched too many videos about that. So we've got uh, Pat in at nine. Yeah, there we go. Right. I, I, re I didn't realize that here in Georgia, um, 
our uh, we have like our number one fossil is a uh, shark's tooth. That it's very common to find shark's teeth here in Georgia, and I didn't realize that because you know we're not we're not by the, the ocean. ocean. I mean, we do have a coast, but still, it, they're talking about in areas that are you know inland from the coast. I'm Apparently, in the y'all were covered by water then yeah so. back in the paleolithic times and all that kind of stuff they're saying that yeah it was covered with water sold to pat for nine dollars and our thank you pat thank you to everybody who bid on that i appreciate y'all y'all okay we got a slide bracelet and we're fixing to hit the next time we're going to go for a prize we got any Texicans <laughs> here? I got a Texas bracelet. It does not have any. Oh, wait. It does have a signature on it. Let's see what this says. It says T O F A. I don't know what T O F A is. It has. It looks like metalware, but it's actually the style of the metal. <laughs> I'll just tell you that right now. But you've got. <laughs> Texicus, Texicus. You got horses and cactuses, and you got Texicus again, and horses and cactuses, and what is that? Oil rig, an oil rig, and you got Texicus again. Anyway, it's a slide bracelet. We're gonna do a buy it now on this Texicus bracelet. My husband is from Texicus, mm -hmm. so. I call him a co-Texan. <laughs> this bracelet is seven and a half, seven and a half inches long. Anyway, so I'm not nice. I know I'm not nice. Y'all don't, y'all please don't send me no complaining and leave no nasty comments about you are not nice. <laughs> <laughs> that poor man has a brain injury and you treat him like that. So, he, I've called him a co-Texan since way before that. We're going to do a bite now. We're going to sell this little bracelet for $4. $4, guys. Four stinking dollars, okay? He can wear it with his PJs, yep. And his wife beater. He's got his wife beater on, so. You know he's in full force red redneck when he gets his wife beater on, so. Anyhow, so, takes a kiss. Bracelet. $4 slider. It's seven and a half inches long. Has a fold over clasp. Uh, it is. It's just rough looking, but I think it's more the design than anything. So, but I do want you to know it is rough. It's not pretty and shiny and perfection. So, but you got old rigs, you got the map, you got cactuses, and you got horsies. Okay. Four dollars. I'm gonna count. I'll tell you what to type, and you're not typing Texas, so don't think you're gonna get a jump on me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want a Texas bracelet, type in oil rig. Oil rig. I just let the dogs go and before I could even let the garage door up, Coco went running and she, boom, hit the bottom of the garage door. <laughs> she was ready to go for a run. So anybody wants to take this bracelet for $4? Jimmy's laughing at me. <laughs> okay, while I'm writing this, I'm going to watch. And if you don't want it, all you got to do is type in oil rig. 
old rig. She was life in April that time at the dogs. So, you know, sometimes the dogs can be so smart, and then sometimes they don't got sense to pour pee out of a bucket. So they just get so excited when they when they're ready to go run free. So, Last night she chased me around the house because she didn't want to go back in there to lay down. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pass on the Texacus bracelet. Texacus is out the window. Now I've got this pretty little peach colored flower clamper bracelet. It's two and a half inches across. You got little peach uh, beads, plastic with uh, cheap looking rhinestones. And we're going to do this one at a bite now for $3. It is cute. It's delicate. And it's big enough that I can wear it. So I got I got football player arms. So, so two and a half inches across. Buy it now. $3. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want to buy this now for $3, just type in flower flower some cute things coming up some cute 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 things so next up is a lot flower anybody want the flower bracelet and guys next up is going to be number 20 which means after that we're going to do a giveaway a giveaway a giveaway a weem away 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 oh Sorry. <laughs> I do believe I have adult ADD. Cannot pay attention to one thing. So. Okay. Anybody, I'm still waiting on the peach bracelet. You want the peach bracelet? All you got to do is type flower. It's pretty, 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 pretty. Those are, they look white. Cream colored, but they have peach in them. Peach colored in them. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. This is your last chance. Because I'm fixing to pass on them. It was a bite now for $3. I'm passing. Pass. Okay. This is a lot of five pairs of earrings. And we're going to start the bidding. I can't hear you singing. Uh, um, we're going to start the bidding at $4 on these. But we have a lot of earrings. And most of these are clip-ons except for one pair is pierced. Okay. So you've got this little enamel iris tulip orchid. Not sure. Gold tone with purple on the inside of it. Clip-on. There's the other one. You've got this really, um, this looks like mid-century modern to me. You've got the filigree detail with the geometric detail in it. And they are clip-on and they are silver tone. The other ones were gold tone. This is the pierced ones. They are little diamond uh, triangulars, 3D triangles, and they are pierced. Then you've got these faux pearl clip on. I want to get this apart so I can show you the earring. Very dainty little, oops, hold it up, Cindy. Little dainty little clip on gold tone earring. Really cute. Really, really cute. Uh, three, three little faux pearls. Hey, Lily. So that's one, two, three, four. And then, oh, here. Now, this one here is interesting because I kept looking at these thinking it's missing a rhinestone, but it's got a enamel one in it. So you've got this um, clip earring that on the inside of it, it looks there like there should be a... Uh, a rhinestone but it's enameled in there and it's how it's supposed to be 
anyway and it's like that and so we're going to do four four dollar starting bid on these they're cute four dollars they're all clip except for one pair got that pair this one this mid-century modern look with the filigree and the that these 3d triangles and oh that's all of them did I, am i not one two three four i've only got four oh and the pearls five five so five pairs of earring anybody want to buy it now at four dollars that's less than a dollar a pair you want to buy it now at four dollars top in mod 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 if you want to buy it now for four dollars Type in the word mod, M O D. We got Lily at four. Thank you, Lily. Or Lydia, I'm sorry, right? Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. Okay, that was number 20, so it's time for another giveaway. Y'all ready to do another giveaway? So, 1 through 100 is your numbers, what you're picking, and this is going to be the prize, okay? Let me get it here and show you. It does not have a signature. It's very, very long. You have this enamel balloon necklace. It's got its little basket. It's got its uh, rhinestones at the bottom of the balloon. Enamel balloon necklace, 1 through 100, only only put it in once make sure nobody else puts in the number okay make sure nobody else gets your number and oh i guess i should pick my number shouldn't i one through a hundred okay and go cute mm -hmm. i remember picking that necklace out you got that one from me and i was like oh it's so cute it's a it's a hot air balloon because i would never found a, a hot air balloon before so it looks like it's a, about 32 inches long with a three inch extender Have any duplicate one number. through a hundred, guys. One through a hundred. I think she's telling us it's not, we don't got the right number. <laughs> Let's see. I need another sticker. One through a hundred. It is very long, it's 32 inches with a hey, kitty, where you going? My grand kitty was in here. I've still got to make the kitty a, a collar. You've missed a little bit, Lydia. We are two-thirds of the way through, but we still have 15 more lots, including uh, gold and silver and a couple more purses. We're just moving through pretty quick. So we stopped. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have stopped. Number nine. Oh. My birthday is August 9th. I was born in 1965. And I'm 37. Well, autumn's the closest uh, uh, at 14. That's what I'm thinking, too. Autumn Grace is the closest at 14. When you kept saying that, I was, that, I was like thinking there going, oh. I was thinking you wanted us to go higher than what we had already called out, but yeah. it was a lot lower. <laughs> yeah, one one through a hundred, guys. One through a hundred. Looks like Autumn Grace won. 
Thank you, Autumn Grace. And Jen was in here earlier, Autumn, and she got the piece that you had sent to her last time, and she she liked it very well. So, okay, we're gonna sell a purse right quick, or at least we're gonna try to sell a purse. We didn't do real good while ago selling a purse, but we're gonna try to sell a purse. This one is a name brand, and it is a good name brand, and we're gonna start this at ten dollars, and it is. Mm -hmm vintage it is Linux bags okay Linux bags and I'm going to show you this and actually if you look up Linux bags you can find this exact bag selling for between 30 and 40 dollars online so we're going to start at 10 dollars is that bags. Linux like that makes the the china and the jewelry and stuff I don't know yeah, anyway don't know. and this is all embroidered this is all embroidered it's pretty it's I love the little, that little bow and has that little cutout and snaps over. So ten dollars is where we're going to start. Um, you no, know, I said actually, I think I found this purse selling for fifty-five dollars on Posh is where I found that. So, so yeah, it's beautiful and that is all embroidery and it is so nicely done there's no loose threads nothing like that it's a very pretty purse very very pretty the colors are very pretty on this purse so it's very stylish this makes me and I know I'm I'm being silly but this makes me think of Jackie Kennedy that kind of styly very stylish I could see somebody like Jackie Kennedy Jackie O carrying something like this so anyway anybody ten dollars Forty nine dollars on Poshmark is what I see. Forty nine. Mm -hmm. mm, I haven't looked for it for since I brought brought it home about two weeks ago, so that's probably right. Somebody may have brought their price down fifty from fifty five. So. Oh yeah. Anyway. I mean, there could be so. more online. That was just the first one I saw of the exact, but a lot of those brand. I mean. Of that brand, the different styles, all of them can be even higher. Yeah. So, guys, this is what I'm going to do on this purse. I'm going to do a buy it now instead of a start at $10. If you want to buy this purse now for $10, type in Jackie O. Type in Jackie O. And you can have it for $10. And it will fit down in a padded flat rate. I got bougie in. So, <laughs> okay, I got bougie in at ten dollars. Now you got okay. something to put my jewelry in. <laughs> I really love the pattern and that cute little bow in the front. Gotcha. So okay, sold to boo. Okay. The other one was sold to Kathy Weezer. Okay, guys, these are so stinking cute. I've showed those these to y'all before. And I kind of hoarded them for a while, but we're going to sell them. I do still have one more somewhere, but I'm not sure where. So these are a matching set of pins. One is larger than the other. We're going to start the bidding on these. And these are vintage. And we're going to start the bidding on these. They are not signed. Um. We're going to start the bidding on these at $5. Are they mice? Oh. They're mm -hmm. mice. They're little mice. And they're kind of pearly white color. Pearly they're white cute. and gray. And, and uh, they're so cute. Definitely. Start at $5. You uh -huh. got the bigger one and then the little one. Mary's in at 5 They are so cute. Cute, cute, cute. They're adorbs. I've got several brooches and tonight, got several vintage brooches tonight. Bows on their tails. And we're fixing to start hitting. <laughs> yes, they got little bows on their tails. They're cute. They've got little rhinestones as their eyes, too. Those little, rhin those little eyes are rhinestones, mm -hmm. little green rhinestones. 
and they are enameled they have like in the ears they have like a pink iridescent look too well actually all over their bodies they have like a pink iridescent look they're sweet very very sweet I don't see any kind of signature on them. I do know they're older, though. I can Just tell from, from the, the mouse. I can tell from the back of the cartoon mouse, mouse of that but time, like 50s or so. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, he would be very, really cute on a sweater. They would be really cute on a sweater. So, I do still have one more of them. That'll stay in my hoard. On a fuchsia sweater yeah the fuchsia would probably pick up that iridescence in it so. mm -hmm, Mary looks like Tom and Jerry yeah well actually it looks like Jerry Tom is the cat <laughs> right <laughs> well anyway they're sweet very sweet. I think I know where the other one is. I think the other one is in my, my hidey hole back here in the corner. In the little tool thingy pull out. Aren't they cute? So, but yeah, we're fixing to hit some uh, brooches. I've got several brooches. For all of you that like to look up name brands, here's a name brand you can look up. I'll spell it for you. And, well, Amrita, A-M-R-I-T-A, S-I-N-G-H. You can look that up and see what their prices go for because we've got a necklace coming up pretty soon that's theirs. Spell that there's for me again. Looks like A-M-R-I-T-A, S-I-N-G-H, Amrita Singh. They have a website. I can tell you what their necklaces sell for, but... I like for people to be able to look for themselves. So we got cherry berry in it. Eight. Yep, that's it. Amrita Singh. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kimmy. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's it. It's a higher um, designer. Wait. And looking at her jewelry, this should be a pretty cool, interesting necklace. It is very interesting. There. There we go. Kimmy right, just, so got, Kimmy just got graduated. She got what? Graduated. Oh. I think. You're talking about you made her a... a Mod. Yeah, I gave her blue. I gave her blue. So she always helps every time she's here. So mice. All right, sold a cherry berry <laughs> for eight dollars. Thank you, cherry berry. Those are awesome. Definitely do an Instagram post because those are cool. Yep. And. I'm going to put them in separate bags so they don't brush up against each other. And, and, uh, but fingernail them. polish and model paint are always good for those kind of brooches to do little touch-ups and stuff. So this is number 22. It is another brooch. I don't know if this is vintage or not. I do know it's a stone of some kind or a glass of some kind that has um, has um, little fleckies in it. See? Mm. But I'm not sure if it's vintage or not. I don't I'm think betting that stone, but I can't make it out well enough to try to guess at the stone. So, anyway, so... Um, this is a brooch. We're going to start this brooch um, at $4. It's very nice. And it's very large. It is 2 inches by an inch and a half. Start at $4. Very nice. Did you say it was uh, signed or not signed? No, it is not signed. But it is so well made. 
Very well made. It could be a, is it brownish or greenish? It's brown. Okay. With little flecks of, almost looks like little flecks of other stone in it, so. Right. Anyway. So. And the Amrita Singh necklace is coming up next. We've got Panama Jack tonight. Panama Jack. Taking it back. Taking it back. <laughs> Panama Jack. I don't, I don't guess they make Panama Jack anymore, do they? I don't know. I don't know either. Used to see it everywhere. Especially down in Panama City. Like, you'd see it at every beach shop, you know. I saw that. I saw your yeah. post, Cherry. Anybody interested in this brooch at $4, guys? Anybody? $4. Yeah, Panama Jack made hats, but they also made jewelry, beach jewelry. Mm -hmm. And what I have is a piece of beach jewelry. So. And sunglasses for and all kinds of cool accessories and stuff. Uh-huh. Suntan lotion. Yeah. So, anybody, $4, we're fixing to pass, if not. I see what I'll bid for. You bid four on it? Mm-hmm. $4? That way I can try. Yeah. Okay. I can test it out. <laughs> we'll find out. See what it is. Nobody else is bidding on it, so you can have it for Thank four. You. Thank you, Boosh. I ate way okay. many crackers and cheese. Okay, here we go is this Amrita Singh necklace. It's, I think it's very interesting. And uh, it is not a vintage piece. I will tell you that right now. It is not vintage because this company is still in. It is 20 inches long. And they're always saying that it's hard to find orange jewelry, but for some reason, I tend to find orange jewelry very easily. So, it's 20, but it's 18 with a 2-inch extender. So, you've got these big old... Oh. And here is your Amrita Singh tag. Let's see if I can get it to, to sign in. If you looked it up, you know that these necklaces sell between anywhere from 50 and up. And we're going to start this at $8. Come on. Come on. Quit focusing on me. There you go. Come on. Don't you hate when you want something to focus and it won't? It's not going to. Anyway, it's signed there, and it is also signed here with a with a big A. Start at eight dollars. Really pretty. I like the one that she does. Is she's got one that's like a hammered star choker necklace. It's really cool. Yeah, she's. They've got just cool jewelry. I've been, I've had this a while. I've kind of been just sitting on it, waiting to see what happens. Right. You should have had that on Poshmark. I'm sure somebody would have grabbed it up. Yeah, maybe. It's the co the color is very vibrant. It's very um, modern and geometric. I think it would do well, especially for that boho, you know, 60s, 70s look. Yeah. Or not necessarily boho, but more mod, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, guys. How long? It's 18 inches with a 2-inch extender of 20 inches. <laughs> yes, Mary has excellent taste in jewelry. So we've got Autumn Grace in it. 
ten dollars. Anybody want to go ten fifty or eleven? Eleven to Mary Pelletier. And what's interesting to me is, the, okay, this all these right here are on a wire. Mm -hmm. They're on a wire, on a jewelry wire. And then you go into the little beads and the great big fastener. I mean, it's easy to fasten, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. so, like a really toggle? Easy. Yeah, well, it's got a great big toggle clasp. Mm -hmm. Did you not see it? See, look. It's a good sized one. Oh, it's a it's a lobster claw, but it's just giant. Oh, lobster. You said toggle. Yeah, it's yeah. A, you said toggle. <laughs> I'm thinking blah. Okay, eleven dollars. <laughs> Mary, remind you of tangerines. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a good tangerine. I may have to go eat some cherries. Oh. I have some cherries. I got some. Cherries. Oh, cherry berry! You bought something. I picked this up for you a couple of weeks ago, and I've not seen you around. So, but here will be your free gift, Cherry Berry. <laughs> y'all know y'all all get a free gift when you buy from me. More so, anyway, Those that'll be Cherry too. Berries. More cherry earrings are so cute. I bought those it right after I bought the ones that you got on the great in twelve. So. Yeah. So anyway, y'all y'all need to let me know if you collect things because I find things all the time, like big girl things. I know like Jude likes elephants. Uh, Susan Gill likes giraffes. Cherry likes cherries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kimmy likes pearls. So I know Kimmy likes to. I do the same thing. I love to pick yeah. up stuff for people that they collect, you know, or at least pick it up because I know they might like it. You know that they like. You just found a bikini with cherries awesome. on it. Woohoo! <laughs> so, you rock it, sister. Okay, Autumn. Mary says she's out. Okay, so we'll go once at 12. Everybody else out? We'll count. Yeah, we'll count. Y'all, if you get your jewelry and you think, my jewelry smells like <laughs> soap, there's a reason for that. I have a bar of... Uh, of uh, honeysuckle soap sitting right here and it smells my whole room so I cut my bar in half hey Jacob my baby how are <laughs> you Aunt Cindy loves you hi Jacob he's mm -hmm. my youngest nephew yep mm -hmm. that was autumn grace wasn't it <laughs> And he's 14. So, okay. So, where are we? We're at number 24. This one is cool. It is a, it is signed also, but it is not like a nice, nice brand. But it's like on the level of a Claire's or a Cato's brand kind of thing. It's on ETC, etc. But it's very, um, geometric and I like geometric jewelry I just do so let me just show you so this is what it looks like geometric here with the and then it's got the arrows in it and it is signed etc and I'll tell you how long it is and we're going to do a buy it now on this it is 20 inches long with a 3 inch extender. So 23 inches. We're going to buy it now. So y'all see he has the same last name as me. Mm -hmm. Except, well, my, my my maiden name. There, that's why that is doing that. So anyway, so we're going to do a buy it now at, um, we're going to do a buy it now at $3.00. If you want to buy this necklace at three dollars, I'm gonna I'm gonna count, and then I'm gonna tell you what to type. Okay. 
So I, I'm one of the jump rings came loose. I'm just putting it back on because y'all know that's the kind of thing that I do. Because I can't leave, let a loose jump ring out of here. So, okay. Now, come on. Come on now. Be pretty. <laughs> Don't y'all talk to your jewelry? <laughs> I usually scream at it. <laughs> Get loose from there. <laughs> Don't scream at it. You'll hurt its feelings. Okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Nine, ten. If you want to buy this now for three dollars there now it lays just like it's supposed to for three dollars type in the word arrow arrow it's cute i would wear it i don't care if it is cheap at claire's style jewelry so y'all y'all should like know cheap like, oh, I'm, not a, I'm not a snob about jewelry what it looks a lot like chico's jewelry to me yeah, Which is I got Erlene in at three dollars. Is that right, Erlene? Mm -hmm. Yep, she said okay. arrow first. I just wanted to make sure because I never know if I've popped to fre to fresh or or, or top to live or top three dollars. Erlene Lynn. Nicholas ETC. Nicholas. Okay. Very good. Panama Jack. Here we come. This is definitely beachy jewelry. Definitely beachy jewelry. You've got these little black. They feel like wood, but I bet they're plastic. Here's your Panama Jack, Panama Jack tag. And you've got these little hookah shell kind of things chips so we're going to do a buy it now on panama jack and we're going to sell panama jack for six dollars six five one six six dollars we're going to do a buy it now we're number 25 panama jack Right now, six dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want to buy this now for six dollars, type in beach, beach, the word beach. And the good thing about those type necklaces is I always list them as unisex too, because they can be worn by guys or girls. Right, they can definitely be worn by guys or girls, boys like these very well. So, actually, some of my heart throbs from, from the 70s and 80s wore necklaces like this. I think of Le Leif Garrett, he wore necklaces like this a lot. David Cassidy, so they'd be all tan with their shirt hanging open and, and necklaces like that. So, anybody beach for six dollars? Oh, yeah. Definitely movies where the guys are like surfers and walking around on the beach. They always get this kind of on. Anybody? If not, we're moving along. Okay, we'll pass on it, and I might do a flash sale later with it so we've got a brooch it's rhinestones it's a bow it's wreaths intertwining it is probably old enough to be considered vintage but it's not what i would consider true vintage okay it's probably from the 90s would be my guess but and probably old enough to be considered vintage, but not. It, it isn't just the first thing I would think of when I think of vintage. We're going to do a buy it now on this for $4. $4. None of the rhinestones are missing, and none of the rhinestones have changed colors. So, $4. Buy it now. 
and I'm going to count and tell you what to type in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you have buy it now for four dollars. Type in the word bow, B O W, bow. If you want it for four dollars, bow. Next up is a pair of Kenneth Cole earrings. Kenneth Cole earrings. Anybody want the bow for four dollars? Bow. The bow for four dollars. Anybody want this for four dollars? What's wrong? Why are you doing the question marks? Did I lose you? No. Where just, are you? Okay. I'm right here. No, it's just uh, I put it. You know, like if anybody wanted it, kind of thing. Question. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I thought I lost. Well, oh no, I lost her. Did I lose everybody else? That that may be the the ten thousand dollar question. Did I lose everybody else? No, I still got twenty five people with me. Nobody's saying anything. They're not liking this stuff. Okay. So okay, we're passing. There's Connie. Hi, Connie. Welcome back. So we're passing on the bow. So we've got Kenneth Cole earrings. There is the back of them with your. KC typed in it. See the KC? Watch it not show, but it is typed in there. Oh, there it is. I can see it there. KC. And they're silver tone. They're not silver with a little black disc in them. And uh, we're going to do buy it now on these also. And we're going to do... You sent me the email. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And we're going to do these buy it now for five dollars. Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole earrings. Buy it now for five dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want to buy these Kenneth Cole earrings for five dollars, you've got hammered metal with a little black disc. If you want them for five dollars, type in the word black 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 looking for the word black on these kenneth cole earrings kenneth cole earrings we have a vintage piece that is signed coming up next looking for black black guys Guys, I will not be lotting up the leftovers at the end and selling in one big lot like I normally do because some of this stuff can go on Poshmark and I need to work on listing Posh. So I'll just put them in my listing bucket. So if you're hoping that I'll do that, necklaces, I've got necklaces to come. So $5 on the Kenneth Cole. That is a good price for Kenneth Cole earrings, guys. Hoping that me and you so, are listing, are we listing thing them? tomorrow, maybe after your show or something. Yeah, we're going to list tomorrow I need after my show. We'll be here from 2 to 2.45 for the show, okay, guys? So... Anybody on the Kenneth Co. We're passing then. Huh? Pass, pass. Okay, the next necklace is the Vendome necklace. Vendome is a vintage necklace. It is hook and eye closure. Let's just see before I put it on there. It is 17 inches long. 
2 Central, 2 Central, 3 Eastern. Bend Dome. And it is a link necklace that I need to get to lay. There we go. Of course, it wants to lay wonky on me. There we go. It goes like this. So it lays flat like this, goes like that. Here is your Vendome Dingle Dangle, and it says Vendome across here. And we're going to bid on this, and we're going to start the bidding. It is vintage. Vendome is a company that preceded. Who did Coral. they precede? Uh, Coro, yes, hmm? or they're part of the Coro company. Yeah, they they were they were the company, were the company so, before Coro, and from what I read, their their quality was even nicer than Coro. So you've got a Vendome necklace, and we're going to start the bidding on this at seven dollars. Start at seven dollars. Honestly, guys. I hardly ever so. find that designer. I hardly ever. Maybe yeah. Two two pieces in my whole career of looking for jewelry. It doesn't seem to want to lay just right right in here and I'm afraid to mess with it too much because I'm afraid I'll mess it up. So but it is still beautiful necklace. Like gold bars, yeah. Pretty. Yeah. So and I think it would lay right if you were wearing it. I just have such a big neck. I can't get it around my neck. Yeah, I can never get the vintage ones on. So, no, it is not embossed. It's just Perfect. flat. On the back side there, if you wear it one way, it looks like it has an indent in it. If you wear it the other way, it's just flat. But there's no embossing on it. It's just smooth. Just smooth, smooth, smooth. Smooth, smooth. Very nice. $7. That's where we're starting. Very much worth it. I think I'm going to go to the hardware store tomorrow and get me a Dremel tool. I was watching a guy. He, yeah, he was polishing his rough stones that he was mining out of the ground and stuff. And I've got a bunch of them in there. And he was using the Dremel tool to do it. And I was like, that'd be fun just to fool around with that. And Plus, I need it for my jewelry anyway to buff up the scratches off of silver and stuff. Yeah. Anybody? $7, guys. This is definitely something that would easily sell on Etsy. Probably for a very, very good price. I, bid, I already bid $7. Oh, you bid $7? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. No, so. <laughs> Yeah, guys, if you if you want to repair your jewelry, a Dremel tool can go a long way. I have a Dremel. Mm -hmm. so I actually have buffer a pads that you can put on there to buff the scratches out. You can buff the um, the engraving off of stuff so that it can, you know, be used to engrave. You know, when you sell it, somebody can have it engraved the way they'd like. Yep. So. Anybody want to go eight? Anybody want to go eight? If not, I'm going to sell it to April. Yeah, you can drill holes and shells and different kinds of things and chunks of Listen, stones. Me and April, would we would roll around naked in rhinestones if we could break <laughs> it. We have mermaid bodies. <laughs> well, if we could make jewelry like Sandy, we would like me. I wish I did find that. I did find out though, you know that little thing that she has that's got like a grinder on one end and like a buffer or something on the other side. There was a video this guy said he got one from um what's that tool place? Harbor Freight. And it was pretty yeah. inexpensive. So for somebody like us that doesn't professionally make jewelry but we want to buff something or something like that we could get that from harbor freight so i'm going to check that out too oh i have a buffer i have a big buffer i have one my, 
when my father-in-law died, he had all this stuff from making knives. So we have a big bench grinder and we have all yeah, the knives. That's and what it's like called, that. a bench grinder. And the so one yeah, he showed has that. the little attachment to it that kind of looks like uh, a Dremel tool and it's attached to the grinder thing itself. And it's got a little pedal that you push. Okay, guys, I wrote sold to April. Nobody else bid on it. So it's sold to April. Thank you. Uh -oh. Okay, I've got another earring lot, guys. Another earring lot. Who won the owls while ago? Oh. Was it who won the owls? Was it uh? Was it Robin to get them or I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, Robin Skywatch won the owls. The there's a you'll see why I'm asking that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So, Robin Skywatch, if you're here and you, because you won the owls a while ago, these are not owls, but look at these. Those little green stones match that green That's owl. Pretty, yeah. So, we've got this pair of clip ons. This is a uh, auction, and we're starting at four dollars. There's five pairs of earrings in here, guys. We've got these pierced earrings, and they are enamel. And here's the cool thing about these: they are stamped "Made in the USA" on the back. So, I would say they're more than likely vintage. What'd you say so, we're starting at? Four. Four dollars. That's the second pair there's five pairs in here uh, we've got three pier four pierced and one clip and then y'all remember these y'all remember these they're that peach colored glass cubes they look and they've got mirrors in them and they are so cute so so cute and they're peach colored very cool oh, nice. yeah. and they're and then we've got these right here, and they're sweet. They are, I think they're poinsettias, but they might be sunflowers. Yeah, I think they're but poinsettias. They look anyway, poinsettias to me. Gold tone, and they are pierced also. So we've got our in the house. Get out. Then let some off in the house. And these are a blue plastic stone in them, and they are pierced too. Very classic look. 80s, 80s called. They want their earrings back, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. the kind of earrings I first started wearing. In fact, I have a picture that I have a pair of earrings on almost exactly like these, and they, it was made in 1984, I believe. And I should bring that out and show y'all because my hair was dyed, almost dyed blonde then. I had <laughs> highlights, but they were in so heavy that my hair looked like I just had a bad dye job. So, so we've got one. Two. I used to put blonde highlights in my hair too, but I don't, I don't do that. Three. Anymore. Four. And five pairs of earrings, guys. Five pairs of earrings. We've got Arlene at four dollars. Anybody want to go four fifty? That's less than a dollar a pair, you guys. These are nice earrings. These are not like cheap China earrings. These are nice earrings. So, in fact, that one pair is made in the U.S. A. Hey, it says it on it. <laughs> so, but they're good earrings. I mean, they're good earrings. Not that. I mean, I find some pieces that are made in China that I love just as much as I love anything else. So, what are you saying, Q, Q, Q? <laughs> what are you queuing? I love these. That little green stone looks just like that belly in that one. So, but pretty much when it comes to fashion jewelry, if I was, if I was buy fashion, at yeah, if oh, you fashion jewelry like from. From the vintage stuff is a lot nicer than the stuff that you get today. It's heavy. Early. 
Yep, five dollars. You're fine, Barbie. I was just afraid that Ken might have been holding you underwater. <laughs> One, two, and they're all in individual bags. Three, four, and five. We've got Arlene in at five. Mary, you going any higher or are you out, hun? That'd be embarrassing to drown in a kiddie pool. <laughs> yeah, but it could happen. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. They say you can drown anyway. in a tablespoon of water. <laughs> oh, it's well, one foot deep. It's one foot deep. So, dude, I'm thicker than one foot deep. So. <laughs> I could lay on my back and my face would still be <laughs> upwards and out of the water. Me too. So pretty much. Okay. Anybody else? We got five dollars. We going any higher? Or are we done? Okay, Arlene. She says she's out. So sold to Arlene. Thank you. Okay, guys. This is number thirty, and uh, we don't have a whole lot left after this, and. Uh, the next giveaway is going to be our final giveaway, and we're going to do it after number 30. This is a Dana Bookman, or Buckman, however you want to say it. Dana, Dana, Dana Bookman. And that is, and it's not going to focus. There you go. There. There's Dana Bookman. That's her signature. This necklace is very long. It is... Uh, uh, 36 inches with a two inch extender. So, and you've got these stones right here. You can look up Dana Bookman to what she sells for. Her jewelry sells for a nice penny. I think she's a QVC. And yeah. we're going to start this at $8. We're going to start this at $8. It looks like malachite. These are not stone. They're plastic. But it is really pretty. Very, yeah, very pretty. Well, Start at $8. Kind of a to it. So, yeah. Really cool. There. I like that. $8. $8. Anybody? Go, uh, go Google Dana Bookman. Yeah, Mary's in uh, eight. Mary. Yeah, if you so got any like Mary green eight. lucite, uh, moon glow lucite earrings and stuff like that, or a bracelet, it would totally go with that. It's pretty. Eight dollars. Very nice. Very nice necklace. Very well constructed. Her jewelry is very well made. Mm -hmm. So, anybody going eight fifty? Or are we selling this to Mary? I have several of her purse purses. Yeah, Dana. Mm -hmm. I always say I call it Bookman. B U C H M A N, but it may be Buckman. I don't know. I just call it Buckman. So I have very so several of her purses. I don't. I did not dig out any rings tonight. Not a one. Not a single solitary one. There is a ring in the mystery bag, but what it looks like is a mystery, except for <laughs> it's nine two five. I'll tell you that much. So anyway, so yep. Uh, All right, I have sold to Mary for eight dollars. Okay, that's number thirty. We're going to do our last giveaway of the night. Thank you, Mary. One to a hundred again. Yes. Okay. Got your number. 
I do have my oh, number. They can start. start. So y'all want to see what you're getting? You're going to win a piece of old, new old stock, Jordache, a brooch, a leaf, a gold tone leaf brooch. And you're going to win this little brooch right here. That Ooh. is a silver brooch, silver tone brooch with little blue stones all over it. And um, I don't know if that, I don't think that's vintage. I don't think it's vintage. So anyway, so you're going to win these two brooches together. So what's your plans for the 4th of July? Do y'all usually do anything? Well, uh, no, generally we don't because um, we just don't. When my when my nephew was younger, he always used to do fireworks show for us, but now he's grown up and moved away, so we don't do that. So anyway, so... Uh, we might go buy some fireworks and shoot them again, but we got to make sure Tyrone doesn't kill me with them. <laughs> well, anyhow. All right. So are we done guessing? Uh, let's see. I don't even know how many people's here. There's 26 people. Did everybody get their number in? Did y'all get like, your number in? Looks like people stopped guessing, so. I did okay. stop. Okay, we'll do stop. Y'all ready to see? Mm -hmm. There we go. What we got? Uh, 63, is that? Yep, it's 63. Uh, looks like it looks Kathy like got it. Because I was 65. I was so close this time. I know. You were close. So, so. Well, our, our town is actually uh, having a fireworks show on Wednesday night before up at the, uh, our, it's our city and the First Baptist Church is doing it together and it's going to be up at the football field, which we live two blocks from the football field, except for we have huge trees between us and the football field, so we can't just see it. So, okay guys, last purse, this is going to be the last purse too. And it's cute. Oh, yeah. It is cute. It is black. And this is a silvery, but it almost takes on a green tint. It's one of those, what color is this things? <laughs> <laughs> and let me open it here. I'm trying to open it on the wrong side. Okay. This is a Banana Republic purse. And it has one little dot on the inside that is stained a little bitty one you might could get it out it has this little mirror with the backing that slides down in it very sweet we're gonna start this at we're gonna start it at ten dollars also start at ten dollars banana republic it's cute. I'll tell you how long it is. It is about uh, it is about eleven and a half, no, well, about twelve inches long, and it is from handle to the bottom is nine and a half inches. From here to here is nine and a half, and it's about twelve inches at its widest point here. So start at ten dollars. Kathy Weezer's in at ten. Okay, guys, look, I have a mystery bag for later. There's 30 pieces of jewelry, including two pieces of silver in it. I have 14 karat gold. And then I have a, what is that one? Oh, I have a bracelet lot, an earring lot, and a necklace left. So, this is this is totally for a night out where you're just going out and you don't want to keep up with much. You stick your car keys, your phone, your ID in that, and maybe a credit card. Right, that's not your daily user. The town. <laughs> or if you, yeah, it's not a daily use bag for sure. So, 
so heck no i have to have a freaking suitcase to get i've been using that leather bag so. that italian leather bag that i got from you that's been my daily user i'm loving it mm. you like that design though it's cute isn't it it's really cute <laughs> you don't go out at night <laughs> i do just to church which at my church they never know what i'm going to show up wearing and well, you go out in the daytime so, with that I'm cc not, it's okay <laughs> yeah you can go out in the daytime just a little brunch or something a little brunch go to happy hour go to matt name <laughs> you're gonna sell your Dooney and Burke vintage bag I have some Dooney and Burke vintage bags I just bought not too long ago from uh, from uh, Vanessa so little polka dot dress vintage 50s it's cute mm -hmm. so we got Kathy in at 12 anybody else going any higher $12 is where we are And sold to Kathy for twelve dollars. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy Weezer. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Hey, listen, go there in style, CC. Go in style, honey. Okay, here we go. This is the last necklace that we're set. Well, nope, not the last necklace. This is a necklace we are selling. And we're going to do a, a buy it now on this necklace. We're going to buy it now for, I think we're going to buy it now for $3. This is a Charmin Charlie look necklace to me. It's not signed Charmin Charlie, but it looks like Charmin Charlie. So we've got a blue flower, two mint green flowers, and a white flower. And we're going to buy it now for $3. I'm going to count, and then I'll tell you what to tie. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten if you would like to buy this necklace for three dollars type mint green mint green mint green it's cute i got you kimmy Okay, guys, this next is a bracelet lot. There's 10 bracelets in here. We've got three gold tone bangles that are, you've got a hammered look, you've got a concave look, and you, you've got a, almost a wood grain look. Okay. It almost looks like a tape measure look, but you got three gold tone bangles there. You've got a big plastic one that says love in red all the way around it. With the it's red, but it's got love in black all the way around it. You've got this white and gold <sighs> tribal look enamel bracelet. You've got two faux tortoise shell look. One is a bangle. One is a stretch. You've got a wrap rhinestone bangle. You've got this one here that is um, uh, a cuff. And it is, um, oh, it is, um, we're going to start this at $5. So there's okay. 10 bracelets in it. So we're starting at $5. This is enamel and it is a cuff. 
And this cuff, I mean, it fits me easily. It's real cute enamel. So, and then you've got this one here that is, it's signed China on the foldover clasp, but it is links, and in between each link is a row of rhinestones. Can you see that? And it's silver tone, and it's a very nicely made bracelet. Very nicely made. So we've got Erlene in at five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good night, Cherry. Thank you for coming, hon. I'll send your invoice. I'll probably do invoices later tonight. So I may wait and do them in the morning. It's almost 11 o'clock my time. So. Okay, anybody else? If not, I'm fixing to sell it to Erlene. Love you too, hon. Sold to Erlene. Thank you, Erlene. Okay. Five pairs of earrings, guys. Boo. I'm sure you're going to see some you recognize. Uh, I don't think these are them, but anyway, you've got a little clip-on pair of... They are gold and silver tone. I don't think it's... Yeah, there it's showing. Gold and silver tone. I call these shrimpy earrings, kind of. They look like shrimpies to me. Just kind of. They're little half hoops. You've got... I've got three pairs of clips and it looks like two pierced. Uh, you've got this, what looks like to be wire-wrapped flower, and it is clipped. These are nice quality earrings, too. You've got these faux turquoise earrings. Guys, this is, hey, Gail, this is um, five earrings. We're going to start at $4, guys. Four dollars. Got these hammered. Didn't I get these from you, boo? Well, let's see. Every time I go to type, it goes away and I can't see it. Uh, maybe. I feel like yes. I have a necklace that matches that. Are they gold tone? Nope, they're silver tone. Oh, silver I have tone. one that I've got to repair that looks like those. Faux turquoise. They're not real turquoise. Start at $4. There's five pairs of earrings in here. You've got this faux tortoise shell look circle on a French hook wire. Very cool. Very 70s. Very 70s. And then an enamel flower. An, an, a layered enamel flower. So we've got four, five pairs of earrings start at four dollars. So we got one pierced, two pierced, three clip, four clip, and five clip. Four dollars, guys. Four dollars for very nice earrings. Four dollars. Those are mixed metal, gold and silver tone. Four dollars. Four dollars, anybody. Anybody? 
five pairs of earrings for four dollars. One, two, three. That's a bougie bag, but it's not the what came in it originally. I can tell you that. Four <laughs> and five. Four dollars. Nobody? Okay, guys. We're passing on it. Okay, I sold those. We'll pass on those, that earring lot. They are all over my computer screen. This is why in the country you cannot open your doors after dark. Okay, guys. Here we go. This one is going to start at $15, you guys. $15, and I'll explain to you why. So we've got black onyx beads. We've got freshwater pearls, and we've got 14 karat beads and 14 karat bindings, and they have all been tested, and they are signed 14K. And they have been tested, and they are 14K. We're going to start at $15. It is 14 karat gold. Oh, and I bet y'all want to know how long it is, don't you? It is 18 inches long. Start at $15, guys. 14 karat gold. The beads are gold. The pearls are real. The uh, beads, I'm just uh, nearly 100% sure that they're onyx. These, each piece, the fastener and the this is 14 karat. So, anybody, $15. 18 inches long. Because y'all know how I feel about beads. This is one of those pieces that I was like, eh, those are real pearls. I'll stick them back. And then one day I got to looking at the clasp and I said, oh, something's wrote on that clasp. It's like 14 karat. And I like to have flipped out. I thought, oh, my Lord, if I knew that, I, if I'd have put those in a bag and known, I'd have had a heart attack. <laughs> of course, I probably would have never known. So, but anyway, 14 karat. Anybody going $15 on these? You've got onyx, real pearls, and gold. Fifteen dollars. I will do a buy it now for fifteen dollars. If you want to buy it now for fifteen dollars and we won't bid on it, you would like to buy it now for fifteen dollars. Type in pearl. Pearl. Thelma said pearl. Thelma said pearl. Okay, Thelma. Thank you, darling. Okay, guys. This is the last thing. It's so dainty and sweet. Thank you, Thelma. I think you'll love it. You've got the pretty skinny neck to wear something like that. So. There. I was losing my, losing my thing. This is the last one. We're going to be done. And we have a mystery bag. We have a Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret makeup bag. Uh, the makeup bag is in okay condition. I mean, it, there's nothing great about it. Um, it's plastic. There are 30 items in this total. 30 items. 
that includes two sterling pieces and the sterling pieces are plainly marked in there and we're going to start the bidding at this at ten dollars start the bidding on this mystery bag at ten dollars i'm not opening it i'm not showing you there are signed pieces in it there are unsigned pieces. There are is something, a little bit of everything, including one of the rings that is in there is the sterling ring. So, got Barbie in at 10. Anybody want to go 11? Mary's in at 11. And... I put everything in baggies pretty much not everything but a lot of it's in baggies things that I wanted to make sure but there are brooches there are bracelets there's rings there are earrings lots of things Sandra Conco's in at 14 Thomas 12 uh, Sandra's okay Mary's 15. I love selling mystery bags, mystery things like this. It's fun for me to pick out. So I am going to tell you, I'm going to show you one thing I'm going to give as a bonus for this, okay? I'm going to give this butterfly brooch as a bonus to whoever wins this. They'll get this butterfly brooch. That's pretty. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. it, I had to repair it. The back, the pin had come out and I had to repair it. So the bag is cute. Yeah, it's a little Victoria's Secret bag. I Actually, this is the second one like that that I found. I found two just like it. I got the other one because I bought the bag. <laughs> yeah, and I, I paid like 99 cents a piece for them. So, but I don't mind. So, but whoever wins this will get this uh, butterfly brooch. This um, it looks like peridot butterfly brooch. It does look so. like peridot. Yeah, I gave the other one to Haley to put her, you know, makeup and stuff in. Well, I just oh no! <laughs> Did, it Did you say break? No, I just dropped it. Oh, it didn't break. No. Nothing broke. <laughs> so. There it is. It's safe. So, I threw it in the floor. Cute. Y'all don't tell Vanessa. She'll feel like <laughs> I broke up with her. So, I usually send Vanessa every butterfly thing I find. So, But I'm afraid I'm butterflying her out. So I've sent her a lot. Somebody won a bag that had mm. butterflies like this on it, too. But I don't think they've got it yet. I don't think they've paid and got it yet. I think I know who won that. I don't think they've paid and got it yet. So it flew away. So I want to I'm gonna find it a little bag so that. I'm being attacked. So... Uh, by moths. Yeah. Um. I need to go turn. I'm gonna go turn the light above me on. Maybe they'll go around it because right now it's dark and they're coming at the computer screen and they're flying uh, all over me. Yeah. It turns into the wild out there at night in my backyard. I have a. This little butterfly brooch that I'll get sent to her. It's actually a Domicine. I won it on an auction on, on a eBay. I'll, I'll get it sent to Vanessa. Yeah, that's yeah, I have a basket I keep up here by my it's by my printer and every time I find something for somebody I stick it in that basket. Better say so, call it. <laughs> so, we gotta let y'all duke it out now. <laughs> well, Mary's getting, Mary's getting impatient with you, bougie. So, <laughs> I folded it up and wrapped it up good, and it's in the bag. The butterfly's in the bag, the mystery bag. The All right, bag so goes. we're going to stay. 
we're going to say that if anybody else wants to bid, bid now because I'll start calling it. You got a delivery at the door, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh no, Pat. Are you having computer trouble? That hey, they did not they can they do not have that power to wish that on you, okay? Don't get don't give them that power. <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyhow. Y'all have had a good time and I felt better today than I have in the last three days. So being with y'all makes me feel good. So sold to Mary for twenty eight. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. I appreciate you, hon. Hi, Landshark sure. Picker. So, hey, Landshark Picker. Welcome. You got here right at the end. We're just finishing up the auction. So, okay, guys. Thanks to everybody Bye. who yeah. bought. Uh, I sold all the purses. I do have some things that did not sell, but I'm not going to offer them back up again i'm going to list most of them i shall list them i shall be a good little girl and make my son list them <laughs> <laughs> so anyway i'm evil evil i say so thank y'all all for bidding tonight and for coming and supporting me and Tell me what you think in the comments after this is over. Tell me what you think about starting at the later time. I wanted to start at the later time because um, I uh, I feel like a lot of times when I start at the earlier time, it leaves out my California friends. And I don't like leaving nobody out. So, But let me know what you think about it. I'm far from evil. Oh, I'm not evil. I just, I'm, I'm ornery, but I'm not evil. So... <laughs> Anyway, I'm just ornery. So, but uh, uh, but let me know what y'all think. And uh, uh, guys, thank you so much. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. We are slowly but surely working our way to the 1,000 mark. We've just got 325 to go. So, anyway, so y'all have a wonderful night, and I shall see y'all tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we're going to talk about vintage jewelry. Mm -hmm. Just maybe a few clues about how to identify it if you don't have a clue. So, anyway, you like the later time? Cool, cool, Kimmy. I do, too, because I'm always up late. So, you like, Mary likes it. I like so. it. Okay, I guys. Like it. it gets us away from anything anybody else is doing earlier. You know, we're not intervening with that. And, uh, like you said, the West Coast gets to join in more. See y'all tomorrow. Night, everybody. So, uh, thanks. Everybody have a great one. Bye-bye. I got to find my mouse. There it is. I lost it in my mouse. There.